Right, so normally what I'd be doing is I'd be doing a drinking game for this every time they say the word huh, but unfortunately I'm out of whiskey. So I basically have one of two options. I could halt the playthrough until I get more whiskey to continue the drinking game, or I could just keep casually playing until I get more whiskey, which will be on the first of next month at the earliest. So I don't know how to proceed, honestly. But I'm so fucking bored, like I wanna stream, but I don't wanna play Sekiro. But I have nothing else to play, so I wanna play this. Playing Neo is my only option? Jeez, I fucking hope not. Hope suicide is an option if I have to fucking play Neo. Like, I, I want to do the drinking game, I'm not going to be able to complete the game within like 20 or so days. Maybe what I'll do is I'll alternate days on and days off, so there will be a Danganronpa stream like every other day, maybe? Or something like that, just so I can like make sure I get some more in there. Uh, so yeah, how are you guys doing? First of all, thank you for coming. Second of all, uh, I don't remember what the fuck we're doing at all, because it's been like three days, so... A new island, huh? I should go find some clues, too. Aww. You can't! You promised you'd tie my kimono sash! Hey! Th that was... We can do that after we finish exploring the new island. <laughs> but if I don't hurry and go take a bath... Don't... Call me smelly again! They're... Gonna bully me again! Yeah, yeah... Well, you fucking bully everybody else! Learn to take some, you little bitch! Jesus! Okay, then let's go take a light shower first. Yay, we're gonna wash each other! Huh? Huh? Wash each other? Hey... H hold on, I I'm not a les- I mean, I don't think it's a good idea for me to go in too. <laughs> no, no, we're both girls, there's no need to be shy. But... Oh, well, go. she obviously is. Well, she's a free spirit, isn't she, seeing as how she's like 12 years old? Chris Hansen. Hyoko pulled Mahiru's hand, smiling like a child before a school trip and headed toward the cottages wash each other. I, I see. Washing each other, huh? Yeah, see, that's already like three huhs, right? That could have been three shots, right? Do I have a man's nut? No, I do not. Okay, so basically over the course of the last few days, I was watching my buddy play Detroit Become Human, and Jesus Christ, we memed that game so fucking hard. Like, okay, there's this part, right, where uh, you're on a rooftop, and there's this android, and he's holding this child over the edge of a building, right? And you have to, like, pick the correct options. Oh, don't worry, I've seen it, Falafel, I have seen it. Where, like, Hajime peeks in through the window? Yeah, I've seen it. Um, but, like, you, you get this myriad of options to choose, and it's like, the story unfolds depending on what options you pick. Like, it's one of those kind of things. And, uh... The, uh, the android holding the child over the edge of the roof, he's like, Are you armed? And the character you're playing as is like, Yes, I'm armed. But, like, I kind of turned it into a joke, so when the guy was like, Are you armed? He's like, I have two. Because he, like, he has two arms, right? Because he's an android, like, he's a person. So he's like, Are you armed? And it's like, I have two. I don't know, it was really fucking stupid. It was really funny. I don't know, it was fucking hilarious. I don't remember what the fuck I'm doing. Oh yeah, that's right, I'm going to the new island, aren't I? That's right. I thought Nekamaru killed one of these cows, what the fuck? Do they, like, multiply or some shit? Am I unaware of how, you know, cows procreate? I could be, who knows. Um, so also, over the course of a few days, I watched Avengers Endgame. And I'm not gonna spoil anything for anybody else, because I'm not a fucking asshole. For people that don't want it spoiled, but... I'm not gonna lie, it bored the fucking shit out of me. Like, it was so fucking mind-numbingly boring. Like, I just- I didn't even want to finish it, it was so fucking boring. Okay, well that's Island 5, that comes way later. What's going on? Did it die again? Oh, it's a pig this time. Great. Like most Americans. You're welcome. Um, so along with Avengers Endgame, I also watched, um... Miyazaki's The Wind Rises, because I've never seen it before. And basically what it is, is it's about this kid that wants to become an aeronautical engineer and design a new plane to revolutionize Japanese, like, warfare. But, like, he doesn't want to fly planes for war. 
He just wants to build planes because he likes them and has a fascination for them. And uh, it was a really good movie. It's not my favorite Miyazaki movie, but it was pretty fucking good, I'm not gonna lie. She's right, the mana beast that was blocking this bridge is gone. Plus, the gate that was blocking the bridge is now open. I guess Monami was right after all. What lies beyond this bridge? Alright, I guess I should find out. Oh yeah, also, I went down to the store to get a drink, because everybody is aware that I have a very unhealthy Coke addiction. And by Coke, I mean Coca-Cola. You're welcome, Coca-Cola. So... The ambiance seems different compared to the first island. I went down to the store. I went up to the self-scan. Like, okay, so in America, in most shopping centers, what they have is they have a self-checkout. So if you have a minimum number of items, you get to check out yourself instead of going through a teller. You know what I mean? Um. So I walked up to the self-scan, I paid for my drink, and I looked down, and there was literally a fucking $20 bill in the self-scan. So I found me 20 bucks today. So I'm quite happy about that. So I figured, seeing as how I'm in a good mood, I might as well stream. So, yeah, here I am. Also, before I kicked stream up, I was on Twitter, right? And, uh, basically what Twitch does- who was that? Evan? I assume that's you. Yeah, it is. Good thing it tells me in stream chat, because I can't read giant bright red letters. Especially when the window is that small. But, anyway, I was on Twitter. And, uh, the Twitch page on Twitter tends to pop up a lot of random videos from random streamers. And there was this game that was like a blatant ripoff of uh, Five Nights at Freddy's. It even had the monkey as well. And literally the standards of horror games have sunk so fucking low. So that it's literally just forced jump scare bullshit, you know what I mean? Like, there is no atmosphere to horror games anymore. There's no tension. There's no build-up, there's no stress, there's no fucking uncertainty, there's no nothing. It's just bullshit jump scares. It's like mindless crap. And I'm just, I'm so sick of it. Like, I miss games like the original Silent Hill. Like, stuff that was creepy and freaky and weird and shit. Like, I'm not gonna lie, Amnesia does a really good job of that, because Amnesia has stuff that you can't see. And that's kind of, you know, pressuring and freaky and weird. But, like... The standards of horror games have sunk so fucking bad, and it's just, it's awful. Like, old-fashioned games like Resident Evil that, like, make you literally be on your toes, and, like, when you open a door to a new area, you're a little bit like, uh... Like, we need that back in horror games, in my opinion. What is this enormous building? It has the ambience of an ancient ruin, but its shape doesn't resemble a ruin. Well, Chiaki doesn't resemble a ruin either, does she? Hey, Chiaki. Oh, sorry. I was dozing for a bit. You didn't look like you were dozing. You looked like you were completely asleep while standing up. Anyway, what's this huge building? Looks like some sort of ruins or a historical landmark. Ancient ruins? That's what you think, too. But it's not just a typical ancient ruin, don't you think? I don't know how to say it clearly, but... Yep. Yeah, it's a mysterious building. It feels like a special place. A special place? For special children, like me. I'll check around here a bit more so you can go somewhere else. Wow, subtle. Come on, just go somewhere else. Wow, super subtle. Thanks, Chiaki. Is she trying to make me go away? She probably wants to be alone so she can sleep without being interrupted. I get it, but you better not sleep. Let me know if you discover anything. Yep. Yep, leave it to me. Just like the kids on Nightmare on Elm Street, I'll never sleep again. I promise. Jeez, she's completely doing her own thing, but her smile is so innocent. That's even more annoying to deal with. Yeah, Amnesia is a good horror game. I haven't played it myself, but I've seen a bit of it. And no, I haven't played Soma, but I heard good things and I watched a bit of it, and it looked boring as fuck. Because that's like the cybernetic one where the computer talks to you, yeah. Yeah, so... Basically, I can't get alcohol again until the first, so I guess, like, the drinking game is pos postponed until I can. And, like I said, I don't know how soon that'll be. Wow, that's an impressive amount of books. It's probably a library, but nevertheless, it looks pretty overwhelming. So, basically, I figured out the reason that I cannot go buy alcohol. Like, my ID is out of date, right? Like, I haven't updated my ID in a couple years. And the reason that you can't buy alcohol with an outdated ID, check this out, this is the dumbest shit I've ever seen in America by far. 
they will not let you buy alcohol with an outdated ID just in case of the event that there's somebody that looks enough like you that you could give your ID away to that person who is a minor so that they could then pose as you to buy alcohol. That's straight up retarded. That's like giving your social security number away and being like, oh yeah, I'll let you borrow it for a minute. That's fucking Surprise. dumb. Nobody's going to do that. I'm a little surprised. I never expected to find such a splendid facility. It rivals even my homeland's national library. But isn't it strange? I mean, does a resort really need a library like this? I am concerned. That is very true. Just as expected, nobody is here either. You're right. The fact that we're the only humans around here is even more strange. Ta-da! Monami is here! I'm reading a book! <laughs> Since you've come here, would you like me to explain this library to you? No thanks, I know what a library is. I, I see. It's clear from your face I'm a nuisance. Since I was more energetic than usual, I feel even emptier now. And what about your explanation? Got it? Well, you're all basically students, right? I was thinking you needed a place where you can do homework. So I've prepared this library. Um. Prepared? You? <laughs> Everyone can get along and study together. It's a student's duty to study. Don't act like a teacher. Hey! I am a teacher. You, you're even more confusing than Monokuma. So what's your real identity? What's your purpose? Yes. Real identity? Now that's silly. <laughs> Goodbye. Running away as soon as things get inconvenient, that's even more suspicious. However... I cannot believe that she is the one who prepared this grand facility. Yeah, she's probably lying. I see, According I see. to this island's guidebook, many of the guests are wealthy and stay for weeks at a time. Which means? These are all probably things that they donated. Oh, hold on. Did you just say this island's guidebook? I found it in this library. Would you like to take a look? Yes, please. What language is this? I have no clue. Then... Then I shall read it on your behalf. You can read it, Sonia? <laughs> I am fluent in 30 different languages. It is a requirement for members of the royal family. 30 languages? Does the royal family have a limit? Jepawak Island is a small island in the Pacific Ocean known for being a paradise of eternal summer. That is what it says. This is exactly what Biokuya told us before. Jepawak Island consists of a small central island surrounded by five other islands. The outer islands were developed as resorts while the central island houses a large administrative building. Huh? There's another, huh? That I can't drink to. I mean, the central island of Shapawak Island. Also, I can't decide if she's French or German, so... There's no sign of any buildings at all. The only things there were, Monokuma Rock and the park. Um. Also, according to this guidebook, it says that there is a bronze statue in the lobby of that building which symbolizes the island. Huh, isn't that... Are you talking about that bronze statue that turned into the Mana Beasts? But that statue was in the middle of a park, not in the lobby of some building. Do I have any favorite characters yet? Um... Yeah, probably. You act like I've never played this before. I have played this before. This is not blind at all. This, that is not all. There is another description that strikes me as strange. According to this guidebook, the only way to travel between the five islands is by boat. Huh? While some people wanted bridges, critics worried about their effect on the environment, so none were built. Except for the one that we crossed to get here, what the fuck? What does that mean? Then what are we using to move between islands? I would guess wood. There's a possibility that this place is an artificial island like Palm Jeremiah. Maya. Palm Jumeirah, an artificial island? Well... Palm Jumeirah is a huge artificial island and tourist site located in the Persian Gulf. Similarly, this island might be an artificial island designed to look like Jabawak Island. It cannot be! 
Zeth especially might be why we are the only ones on this island. Just kidding. Well, something like that would be impossible anyway. No island of this size could be completely artificial. This guidebook must be old too. It contradicts everything about the island's current situation. Well. My my, you're very intuitive to assume this is an artificial island. Now you're here? However, those guys are the only ones who could do something on such a massive scale. Th those guys? The hint is, you know the enormous organization you guys were talking about before. It's true that those guys totally deserve to be called a horrible group of people. Who are you talking about? It was a slip of the tongue. I should excuse myself before it leaks onto the internet. Yeah, just like your fucking Monokuma porn videos. Hey, hey, hold on a second. But before my voice could reach him, Monokuma disappeared as usual. It cannot be. Could it be? This island is completely artificial? There's no way that is true. There's no way. That guidebook is probably just old. You are right. That's right. That's obviously what it is. He's just saying strange things to confuse us. Damn it. There's no way I'll fall for that. Also, let me know how the audio mix is, because over the past few videos, the music has been a bit loud, so let me know how it is. If I need to change it, let me know. She's Swedish? I don't know how Swiss people sound. Especially not Swiss females. So, I'm gonna stick with the French slash German thing. Frenchman? Yeah, I'll call it Frenchman. That probably comes off incredibly offensive, but whatever. It is me, isn't it? This is a huge library, but there are no other human beings to be found here at all. Just as I thought, it might be safe to assume that this island is also uninhabited. Are you okay, Pekko? The bronze statue of Monami, I mean Usami, before she got redesigned. Looks like it broke when it got dropped. Getting treated like a nuisance even as a statue, that's pretty sad. The bronze statue of Monami, I mean Usami, before she got redesigned. Should look around here a little bit longer? Well, could you be less vague? A little bit? Wow, that's a lot of books. Well, it is a library, isn't it? A lot of them have really fancy covers, they might actually be very valuable. Well, to a guy like me who can't even read them, they're basically ornaments. Hajime is stupid. Hajime cannot read. Hmm, what language are these books written in? French? Italian? French Italian? I don't even know. I see. I see. Such an interesting description. What are you reading? Are those political books or maybe some kind of philosophy? The newest issue of a cotton magazine. It breaks the lid off underground mysteries and the wonders of the world. That, that's quite a surprise. Yeah, you are wrong. It's not like I read it often. I'm just reading it because it has a special article about serial killers. It's not a good excuse at all. However... It seems this writer has very good taste. I mean, even Genocide Jack is mentioned in the article. And that Genocide Jack or whatever, I feel like I've heard about her before. Most Tight. Genocide Jack is an alleged Japanese serial killer who has a reputation even among casual internet users. She is very popular among youths and is known for writing messages in blood at the scene of the crime. Wow. Apparently, she is a high school or middle school student who wears a sailor uniform. Be careful, Hajime. Do you know how many high school and middle school girls wear sailor uniforms these days? See? Yeah, ever seen Sailor Moon? Oh, this one is a particular favorite of mine. Sparkling justice is a regular subject of these kind of exclusive articles. I shall explain it to you just in case. Sparkling justice is a serial killer who calls themselves the ally of justice. Wearing a wide variety of hero masks, Sparkling Justice is a delightful serial killer who only kills criminals. S Sonia, calm down. Amazing. Thanks to the masks Sparkling Justice wears, nobody knows their real age or gender. After all, it is essential that serial killers be mysterious. What the next bit, yes? I don't know, if you're gonna go and slaughter tons of innocent people, are you more likely to wear a mask? Or are you more likely to be like, Yep, that's me, officer. I did it right here. Hey, you too. I've been listening in for a while now, but... 
Why are you talking about mere murderers with such enthusiasm? I haven't done any talking. Please wait! Please hold on! It is a mistake to refer to these people as mere murderers. See? Coming in contact with the value system that differs from your own is a very important matter. Okay, well, why don't you say that when fucking Ed Gein slices you and turns you into a chair, alright? Oh yeah, they definitely do. Sony has a thing for, like, taboo stuff. Serial killers, their value system is very different from than the norm. What a marvelous existence. I am totes intrigued. Is this kind of like a young lady crushing on a total bad boy type of situation? Regardless, it's clearly different from a princess who's obsessed with serial killers. I don't know, I could go for a girl like Sony if she's into horror movies and serial killers and shit like that, ladies. I have black hair, I have quite a smooth voice, and uh, I'm an absolute pervert. There you go. Top three. Oh yeah, that reminds me, oh my god. Let me tell you guys about a message that I received earlier today. So, I was basically chilling on my Facebook, right? And I got a little ding in my fucking DMs, like I got an alert, and I was like, what the fuck? So I opened the message, and it was this guy named Mike. And literally his message was, I've read your profile, I know you're a straight guy, but I'd pay to watch you fuck a girl. I wouldn't touch either of you, I would just watch. Are you interested? Question mark. And literally the way... I read that message, I had the look on my face that Mikon has right now. Just extreme concern. Like, I was horrified. Squee. What's with you? I'm sorry. Got so excited and I started shouting. I was so happy that someone talked to me before people either hated me or were grossed out by me. Those are such sad choices. More importantly, is this a drugstore? Looks pretty spacious. But it looks like there's no one here either. Well. With all these medical supplies, I'm pretty sure we can handle most illnesses or injuries. <laughs> if you don't feel well, let me know. I'll give you lots of shots. Lots and lots of shots. That sounds dangerous, and slightly creepy. When it comes to shots, I should definitely decline. Wait, what the fuck? Why- Okay, 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 hold on, hold on a minute. Let me get this straight. Supplements, for like, weight loss and shit like that, and dieting and shit, dietary supplements and crap. Medicine for like, when you're ill. Ointment for when you have like, rashes and need treatment and shit like that. Compress for like bleeding and you know like hemorrhaging blood and all that stuff and then they have fucking laundry detergent One of these things does not fit with every other thing in the store and I'm not talking about me cotton either I'm talking about the fucking laundry detergent. It's a little bit strange right well So what are you all up to today? How uh, how is your day faring? Oh yeah, you know what? Let's go in here. I forgot you could go in here, actually. I'm not gonna lie. Totally forgot entirely. There's a seagull there. Can I pet the seagull? Although it's probably covered in shit and quite messy. The signboard says diner. I guess I should try going inside. Oh, there's two seagulls! Oh, but I can't pet them. That's unfortunate. Is there a Fuyuhiko here? Huh? That looks like... Yep, there is a Fuyuhiko here. Huh? Oh, it's you. Dumbass. Trying to eat right now! Go away, dumbass! Fuyuhiko suddenly started yelling at me as he had a hamburger in one hand. Wait, who the fuck made this hamburger for him? Hold on, why is he here? He wasn't at the restaurant, why does he know about the new island? It's a very good question, isn't it? Drink sandwich, well, I don't know if you know how food works, but you cannot drink a sandwich. I guess, I mean, you could blend it, but 
You wouldn't want to blend a sandwich, would you? Hey, why are you here? How'd you find out we can go to this new island? <laughs> are you a monkey or something? Do you not understand human language? Shut the hell up! I told you to leave me alone when I'm eating! Jeez. <sighs> An annoying person went out of their way to tell me. Annoying person? Then I found this place, and now I'm eating here because I'm hungry. Mystery solved. You happy now? So get the fuck out of here and go somewhere else. Hey, how about that annoying person? It's got nothing to do with you. Mind your own business! It's got nothing to do with you! Actually, it does have to do with me. I don't know what you're thinking, but we're all in this situation together. You're not the only one stuck on this island. We all have to work together. You should know that by now, too, so... Why are you avoiding us? <laughs> I'm not avoiding you bastards. Just decided not to rely on anyone. Not to rely on anyone. <laughs> that includes the Kuzuryu clan. I can still survive without relying on them. Huh? Hey, are you actually? Don't misunderstand. Don't get it twisted. I'm a Yakuza by blood. It's not like I don't want to head the family business someday. I just want to prove I've earned it. Prove I can tough it out on my own without relying on my clan. <laughs> Plus, even if I fail, the clan will still be around. My little sister would be happy to lead it. Oh, you have a little sister? Shut the hell up! Shut up! Why'd you let me bring that up, anyway? You brought that up yourself. Anyway. I don't intend to spend any time with you guys. Nothing good can come of it. N nothing good can come of it? <laughs> Isn't it obvious? In this kind of situation, interacting with others will shorten your lifespan. Those idiots, Biaki and Teru Teru, are proof of that. <laughs> Plus, it'd be frustrating to be held back by affection when it's my time to kill. Y you're still saying that. Of course. I'll sacrifice the lives of everyone here if it guarantees my survival. Even if you don't actually mean that, you're awful just for saying it. <laughs> you're the one who spoke to me without my permission, so don't get pissed at me. If you're so upset you don't have to stick around, fuck off. What the hell? It was stupid of me to talk to a guy like him. Yeah, that's why Fuyuhiko's fucking badass. He's fucking absolute douche mode. Love it. I channel full Fuyuhiko energy when I'm outside. I seriously do. Like, anybody tries to talk to me, I'm usually like, eh. Like, I just don't respond, typically. What's that say? Chandler Beach? Am I gonna run into, uh, what's his name from Two and a Half Men? Charlie Sheen? Probably. I don't even know who the fuck that was. A scream? The voice just now, wasn't that a Buki? What, you can tell? What? She's perfectly fine, what the f- nope, 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 nope. I don't care, I'm having that. We'll admire the pretty lady in a second, but I'm gonna admire this Monokuma in a life raft. Serious? Funny story, you know why they call those things life preservers? Get this because they preserve your life by keeping you afloat when you're overboard. 200 IQ, pretty interesting, right? Not really. What's up, Ibuki? Uh... Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. Ibuki, you alright? What happened? Emergency! This is bad! I'm panicking so much I don't even have time to space my words! What's going on? <laughs> the killing, the killing started again. Huh? Look! Over there! So I glanced over to the beach where Ibuki was pointing her finger where I just was. And saw nothing. Oh yeah, that's right. I totally forgot about this, actually. I'm not gonna lie. I totally forgot about this. speed is adequate, but it's still not enough. Each blow you land is too soft. Gotcha, boss. What the heck is this? You're not using your muscles properly. Your athletic body is going to waste! Shut up! All I gotta do is win! What was that? You're gonna win? Against me? That's quite absurd! I wish I could do that with my voice, but unfortunately I can't. If I'm gonna do that, I really have to force it, like, really hard. I can't just do that naturally like that. Had enough? Have you learned your lesson? We're done for! He, he, he's done it! Nikamaru Nidai's ultimate move, Super Body Blow! That's instant death! If she's lucky, she'll live another five minutes at best! Sheesh! 
Akane, at your current power level, you cannot even defeat a mere team manager. What are you saying? Why are you guys fighting? Ha! Huh? Huh, this isn't a fight. <laughs> it's a one-sided beatdown. That's even worse. The rules for the school trip clearly state excessive violence is prohibited. Training! What violence? This is not a real fight, we're training! But it looked like a real fight. Ha! Huh? Huh, I'm just a team manager. There's no way I'd be able to fight for real. Training! We both agreed to this training session. I'm not violating any rules at all! Even so, why the sudden interest in training? If I gotta admit it... What the? She's alive! Fool. She's not a weakling who'd get killed by a weak blow like that. He, he looked pretty strong, so I couldn't help but get excited. I thought Sparn would help me burn off some of this energy, but I lost. <laughs> More importantly, there's a lot of strong dudes in this world, huh? Aww. What a bunch of battle-loving troublemakers. I see. Connie, it seems you're the type who learns through actions rather than words. So I shall give you just one piece of advice. How you use your body and muscles, your positioning and your timing, it's all half-assed. You are not utilizing your ultimate gymnast talent well at all. Pay attention! Basics! Make sure you understand the basics! You'll always be second rate if you just rely on instinct! You... damn it! Shut up! Then... If you understand what I just said, come see me. When that time comes, I will fight you once again. Don't forget! <laughs> you better not forget what you just said. My desire to win is pretty crazy. I'll show you my... I won't give up until I beat ya! With wobbling steps, Akane left the beach. However, I get the feeling she's going to be taking wobbly steps later for an entirely different reason. However, if she fought that fiercely with just her own style, how ominous, my hands are still numb. That girl! She's probably, she's gonna, probably gonna, gonna get, get even, even stronger. stronger. Thanks, Ibuki. Fuck you. Yeah, I don't mean that. You're probably right. What kind of conversation is this? Yeah, Ibuki, what kind of conversation is that when you just take me over in fucking dialogue? Because I can't tell when it's your own or not. Bitch. Could at least give me a fucking heads up so I don't look like a fucking retard, alright? Nah, Ibuki doesn't give a shit. Oh god, Kuxuichi. Thought this was a beach house, not a cuck house. Since it's near the edge of the beach, it looks pretty luxurious. I guess it's a celebrity style beach house. Got any whiskey in here? There's a lot of drinks here, like water and coffee. And whiskey? But most of these drinks have colored dyes that might be bad for your health. That's racist towards other drinks. Can we drink these for free? Well, yeah. Yo! Hey, doesn't this feel awesome? Like a celebrity's pad or something? The shower is out of order, but the ambiance is nice and the fridge is stocked with loads of drinks. <laughs> Plus, the beach outside feels so private, it's awesome! Compared to the urban seas that are full of trash and debris, this place is completely different! We're the only ones on this island anyway, so anywhere we go is a private beach. Hey, hey! Don't shatter my dreams like that! That's right! More importantly, why don't we splash around at this private beach? Whoa. Awesome! Totally awesome! Splashing around at such a gorgeous beach is really the best! He's his usual happy-go-lucky self. Well, I guess that's one of his good qualities. Miss Sonia! Ah, <sighs> I wonder if Miss Sonia would come too. I want to see Miss Sonia in a bikini. You can't! Whoa! It's here! Hey! Why not? Are you trying to interfere with my love affair with Miss Sonia? I won't forgive you! Changing in the beach house is prohibited. It would be bad if shameful peeking occurred. Ah, oh, so you mean changing here isn't allowed, not going to the beach itself. And I'll just have to come here after changing. I'm never gonna give her up. I'm never gonna l let her down. I'm never gonna run around and hurt her. Might let her down, though. Ah, Hajime. Anyway, breaking the rules is not allowed. Also, playing is fine, but please focus on your studies, too. You guys? Where? Where's the rule breaker? I'll beat the crap out of them, no questions asked. Yeah. He's here. You, what are you holding? A machine gun, obviously. Rule breakers will be shot to death. That's just common sense. 
It's common sense wear! It's not like we're under a military dictatorship! Uh, I want to shoot something. I know I'm not allowed to. But I really want to shoot something right now. C control yourself. I have iron willpower, so I'll endure it no matter the cost until the day someone breaks the rules. Um... As you can see, it's very dangerous, so please refrain from changing at the beach house. Uh... Wow, that was totally bizarre. Man, they're annoying. Yeah, I feel very tired all of a sudden. Right, do we have to look around here more, or can we fuck off and go somewhere else? Looks like this is the closet. Uh, the inside is... Looks like a small storage room. It's almost like a walk-in closet. There's surfboards arranged on the shelf, but I'm not into surfing, so it doesn't really matter to me. Not into surfing? How fucking dare you, Hajime? That is my idea for a Danganronpa original character, by the way. I'm gonna make a surfer. I already have her designed out and everything. The store leads to the road by the tunnel. Ah, which reminds me. When we mentioned Nagito at the restaurant, Kazuichi looked pretty unsettled about something. Guess I should ask him about that. Alright, well let's let's do that then. Ah, which reminds me, I had something to ask you. Huh? What? Well it's about Nagito. Whoa! Ah! I haven't seen that guy all day. Do you know where he is? Well... I don't know. Seriously, don't ask me. Who cares about that crazy-ass bastard? We need to search this island first and foremost. There might be a way to escape. How annoying. So let's just end all annoying talk right here. That's it. All done. Ended the conversation very forcibly. Just as I thought. He's definitely hiding something. A raging boner for Sonya, perhaps? Oh, it's you, Chiaki. What happened? Well... Um, I'm letting everyone else know too, but can you come to the ancient ruins on the island right away? You can, right? Right away, okay? Hurry up. Uh, based on her pushy tone, she might have found some kind of clue. Then, I guess I should have head over to the ancient ruins. Guess I should head over to the ancient ruins. This is some Indiana Jones looking bullshit, I'm not gonna lie. What the heck is this? Such a gigantic building. However, however, it is clearly faded. It looks like an ancient ruin. Well, seems perhaps this is an actual ancient ruin. What's going on? How should I say this? Don't you think this building resembles a school? School. Now that you mention it, I don't know how, but I do see what she means. Hope's Peak Academy? It might be a resemblance to Hope's Peak Academy. Well, there are a lot of similar looking buildings. It's just a coincidence that this ruin looks similar. It's a coincidence, right? Hmm. You found something, right, Chiaki? What'd you find? Hey, bastard! I'll fucking cut you if this was a waste of time! <laughs> I didn't know you were also here. That bitch over there kept bugging me, so I finally came. <laughs> Did you maybe find a way to get off this island? Nope. Nope. Nothing like that. Aww. Then who cares? I should have played in the bath with Mahiru more. Let me ask. Then what in the world did you find? Chiaki found something. I wonder what it is. I found my sense of social acceptance. Hey Chiaki, what'd you find? If it's not a way off this island, does it have something to do with this island's secret? Hmm. About that, I don't know. Hey. What do you mean you don't know? Hmm. It's like it doesn't belong with a building like this. I keep thinking about it and it feels unnatural. Um. It's like a comic book originally about baseball becoming a side-scrolling action game. It's unnatural like that. That's a little hard to understand. See? Look, that door over there. Door. Yeah, I like how it just says door. It's hard to make out from all the dust, but this is the door you mean, right? That's right. Yeah, it looks like that's the door to the ruin. Hey. So what's wrong with this door? Can you go inside? 
before we attempt to go inside, take a look at the fucking machine gun, you fucking idiot. Ever played Bullet Storm? Yeah, the thing would fucking rip you to shreds, dumb shit. Never played Gears of War, you stupid ginger bitch. Okay. Let's try brushing off some of this dust and clearing some of these root things off the door. If you do, I'm pretty sure you'll understand what I mean by unnatural. For now. I don't really understand, but I guess we should try what she says. Y you're right. Just as Chiaki said, we brushed off the dust and cleared the roots that were stuck to the door. And then... Maybe not. What is this door? It doesn't feel like it belongs in an ancient ruin. What's going on? It's like a door from a sci-fi movie, don't you think? Definitely doesn't fit with an ancient ruin. And what is this symbol on the door? Oh? Looks like it's Japanese. Oh! You're totally right! Uh, it's all hieroglyphics to me, I have no fucking idea. Um. Except for that weird shape that looks like a pretzel. I know that's an A, so yeah. Sorry, Japan. I'm sorry if it's just my misunderstanding. To me, it looks like it says Mirai, or future. Future. Bastard! Hey, who cares about a symbol on the door? More importantly, how do you open it? What's inside? Hey. Looks like there's a liquid crystal display next to the door. Could the two be related? Hey. Oh, right. That must be the key to open the door. It's probably set to open when you type the password. Acting all high and mighty, so what's next? It's obviously impossible to put in the password without any hints. <laughs> Are you saying a normal person can't open it, but a Yakuza can? That's hilarious. Shut up! If we just type whatever, we might get it right. Hold it. I think we should wait. Doesn't that seem dangerous? What's up, Unicorn Fuzzy? How you doing? Huh? Welcome. What do you mean, dangerous? Cause that thing next to the panel, does it resemble? Doesn't it resemble a machine gun? In fact, that's totally a gun. G gun? Huh? That's a gun? If it is, it's probably very dangerous. It's possible you might get shot if you mess up the password, right? So instead of getting yourself turned into Swiss cheese, maybe you shouldn't play Twenty One Questions with the fucking door with the machine gun attached to it. All right, dumb shit. Yeah. Damn it. It can't be helped. Looks like it's better if we don't mess with it. For now. <laughs> He's totally freaked out. Shut the hell up! You do it then! Hmm. Oh, I don't know. She's small enough. Maybe the bullets will go over her head. Then again, it probably turns on a pivot, so that might not be a very good, you know, risk. But still, a building that looks like an ancient ruin, with a door that looks like it's from the alien movies. It's definitely unnatural. This is probably an important place. Hmm. Important place, huh? Problem is, how is it important? Um... Oh yeah, by the way, Unicorn, I still don't have any more whiskey. I'm not gonna have any more whiskey until the first, so... I'm probably gonna do Danganronpa 2 on and off, because I don't want to progress the game without whiskey, because the whole point of me playing it is to do meme funny shit, so... Thanks. You're both quiet? You guys know about this building too, right? Just be honest with us. I'm sorry. Nope, I have no clue. No idea at all. I don't know either. Um... For now, everyone should focus on gathering the health fragments. I won't be fooled. Hey, there's no way you guys don't know. Don't just show up and tell some lousy lies. Um... You guys are probably the ones who covered that door with dust, right? Just as I thought, you guys were hiding it on purpose, right? Hey! Hey, don't talk like we're equals, you trashy bitch! Oh, I'm sorry! You nasty pig Say you're sorry, bitch! Oh, I just said it. I just said I'm sorry. <gasps> is it possible that there's a connection between this door and the reason this island is uninhabited? For example, this place might be a shelter and there might be natives inside. Is something happening that would make them hide in a shelter? If so, we're all screwed. You're getting all riled up. Several possibilities cross my mind. Hmm. But it looks like there's no way to confirm it yet. The door's really sturdy. But not in a material sense, more essential than that. Huh? What are you saying? Hey, um For instance, even though Monami and I can come and go as we please, we can't enter what's beyond that door. 
can't go inside too? Does that mean you're the same as me and... Hey, keep your tongue in Hadouken! Your mouth. That is totally a Hadouken, fuck off. My body can't handle a supersonic meteor rush like Nah, that. supersonic meteor rush, more like Hadouken meteor rush. Cause that was a total fucking Hadouken. Well, you can go fuck yourself. There, now that I've shut up my sister with the fantastic Pegasus Meteor Fist. This is the mystery of Jabberwock Island. A mystery that even Monami and I can't solve. That's why I have high expectations for you guys. One day you'll be able to solve that mystery. Huh, <laughs> seems easy enough. All we gotta do is remember what that black and white tanuki said before. Hey, why are there 16 of you? If a total of 15 students from Hope Speak Academy were arranged to come to this island... I got it! That's right, there's probably a traitor I don't even know about hiding among the group. Just kidding. I know! There's a traitor among us, that's what that ugly tanuki said before. Fine, fine. Ah, calling me ugly and a tanuki! Those kinds of silly names don't depress me in the slightest. Hello! He's totally depressed. There's a traitor, they probably know how to open the door, right? And there's probably boats or a way to contact the outside world beyond that door. Or maybe whoever's controlling Monokuma and Monami is hiding there? But... Do you really think there's a traitor among us? No shit. Of course there is! Who the hell is it? Hurry up and confess! What? There isn't! There's no traitor! Anywhere! Hey, bastard! Monokuma, what about you? You're the one who mentioned it. <laughs> What's so funny? Hey, hey! Oh, just... Have you guys heard of an organization called World Ender? World Ender? I'm the one asking you a question! Don't just change the subject! Come on! I understand why you'd want to just ignore it. World Ender is such an embarrassing name. So embarrassing that only middle school students... No, wait! Elementary school students would come up with it! But the name is unavoidable because that organization really exists! So what? So what is this organization? <laughs> it's literally what it says. I don't Those guys ended the world. <laughs> ended the world? Hey! This um... might be Danganronpa 1 spoiler, so if you've not seen the game, piss off. That's not an overstatement or a metaphor, you know. Those guys really did end the world. So don't you think it's appropriate to call them World Ender? So basically... You mean, they're a terrorist organization? Hmm. Terrorist, huh? That might be accurate. But only losers are terrorists. If they manage to win, they become heroes. <laughs> in that sense, they're more like heroes. Also, it looks like Hiroshima in here, am I right? Too soon. They're the heroes who ended the world! What's going on? So what? Don't say things that don't make sense. Don't tell me you're gonna say this organization is the one putting us through all this crap. World Ender? Are you saying that you and Monami are also members of that organization? Who knows? The only thing I can tell you is... The organization that the traitor is working for, the ones who brought you to this island? What? World Ender's behind it all! Are you kidding me? Why are we being targeted by a horrifying organization like that? Don't panic. It's just another made-up story to trick us, like when he said we lost our school memories. I can't suspend my disbelief for something as ridiculous as World Ender. There's no way that organization or the traitor exists. Stay back. Monokuma, I shall listen to your spout nonsense all you want, while I puff cigar smoke at your lifeless body. My, my, I was kind enough to keep you guys informed. Are you calling me a liar? What the heck? If you keep acting like that, I'll do this and that to your various body parts. Silence! Anyway, I'm telling the truth. The World Ender Organization is the final boss of this island. Plus, one of their members is hiding among you guys. That's why you guys gotta find that traitor and kill them dead. Hey! Hey, you better stop. I'm gonna Shut up, Monami. You. Big Brother defying trash like you needs to be punished. No! Don't pull my ears, they're gonna come... come off! What the fuck is with that freaky deaky shit? Am 
Monokuma and Monami departed from the area, leaving the rest of us dazed and confused. Like that Led Zeppelin, so, I mean, w what was that just now? What's going on? Is there anybody who understood what he was talking about? Um... Not a clue. Hey, hey. Oh, God, I'm fucking bored. Can you guys just fuck off, baby? For now, since the sun is setting, we should just go home for the day. I think it's a waste of time for us to keep thinking about this. You're probably right. Hey. But it's getting dark soon, so going home might be a better idea. Let's just call it a day. And have some fries off the 4 for 4 menu. After exploring the new island, all we've uncovered are more mysteries. As we lowered our heads and bemoaned that reality, we began heading back to our cottages. Oh, I missed two Monokumas. That's very unfortunate. I'm dead tired from walking around all day. Jeez, I don't know what the hell's going on, but it's starting to make my head hurt. Ancient ruins, strange doors, traitors, and world ender. I have no idea what's going on anymore, and I don't even feel anxious about it. I guess I should go to sleep for now. And dream about Chiaki. With that, I laid my exhausted body onto the bed and closed my eyes. A vision of Chiaki naked and playing video games suddenly like entered this. my mind. My least favorite food is definitely crab. I also don't like shrimp, apples, tomatoes, and seasoned trout eggs. I don't like red foods at all. Red foods are red because they have crab inside of them. It's actually a conspiracy by the crab industry to try to make me overcome my disgust. There's no way I'd fall for that. I will never ever eat red foods. You see, our society is filled with various hidden conspiracies that are closer than you might think. Please look forward to the next Monokuma Make sure you guys be careful too. Ding dong, bing bong. What's up, bitches? Good morning. Get the fuck up. Good morning, everyone. Looks like today is gonna be Unicorn. How are you doing? If you're still here, it's good to see you. Hopefully, you're well. Now then, let's show some enthusiasm and. Oh yeah, Unicorn. Guess what? I have an awesome story. I found twenty bucks at the shops today. Because I was waiting in the queue, right? And then after I was done waiting in the queue, somebody went to a different scanner because they didn't see the money. So I basically just walked up, paid for my shit. And then I looked down and I found 20 bucks. So I'm pretty happy. Morning already, huh? Feels like morning came so quickly. Like the night got skipped or something. That explains why I feel so tired. But I'm hungry, so I should just go to the restaurant and eat something. Ready then. No more hidden teddy bears in my room? Okay. I wonder if there's any hidden teddy bears in Chiaki's room. Oof. What's up, Gundam? Hi, Gundam. Stay back. Do not speak to me, human. W what the heck? How the wind running amok today. It's carrying the lost souls of Byakuya and Teru Teru. Are they destined to be cradled against the Heavenly Mother's bosom or to burn the fires of Gehenna? Perhaps you should pray for them, human child. It's possible that prayer might save their souls. <laughs> now then, I shall take my leave. That guy's the same as usual. What, fucking amazingly awesome? Yeah, he is. Absolutely. fucking lootly Guess I should head over to the restaurant. Don't tell me what to do, Hajime. You're not my real dad. My real dad's a fucking cunt, which you are not, actually. Fucking Jesus Christ, that is horrifying. That is, like, absolutely, like, fear-inducing. Also, I should have me a drink of Coke, because my voice is starting to get a little bit heh, if you know what I mean. Hmm. Hey, you came at the right time! What do you think, Hajime? What do I think? About what? <laughs> Isn't it obvious? That stuff he said about a traitor and world ender! I'm asking if you know anything about it! After one night's sleep, there was no way I'd suddenly find out anything. What's going on? Well, that's obvious. The same goes for me, too. Honestly. I didn't get enough sleep last night because of that baffling nonsense. But... 
I wonder if it's really true that there's a traitor among us. No! No need to worry. You don't have to worry about the traitor at all. <laughs> However, by chance, a worst-case scenario... Impossible! Impossible! Even in a worst-case scenario, you don't have to worry about the traitor. That's weird. What do you mean? You're being awfully certain about it. Behold! Of course! In fact, that so-called traitor is tied up at the moment and can't move at all! Huh? It cannot be! Tied up, you say? That sounds kinky. I'm totally in. Could you be referring to Nogito, whom we've not seen since yesterday? Who else could it be? Nogito's the traitor! W what about that other part, where he said he was tied up and can't move? Oh, crap! Hey, hey! Kazuichi, what should we do? Hey! Dumbass, don't rub me into this. They'll find out we work together to... Ah, oh, crap! <laughs> you guys are both idiots. You. Hey, what does this mean? I mean... Well, you know. <sighs> There's no way we can let him run around free. I mean, he tried to put us all in danger, you know? Two, two, committed a murder because that guy tempted him, right? <laughs> So that makes him a killer, too! It's necessary to deal with him in an inappropriate way! Honestly. So that's why you left him tied up. However, that cannot be helped. He is quite dangerous. Um. How should I put this? He's a little creepy. Not that I want to badmouth him. Emergency! He's not a little creepy, he's creepy to the max. His creepiness is so high he could sell tickets to see it. Good instincts. That's truly a nice line. Every fiber of my being agrees with you. That's right. There is no existence more troublesome than that of an incomprehensible human. Fall, my tears. What they like and what they hate. What makes them happy. What makes them angry. It's normal for all beings to have standards rooted in experience so they can predict their opponent's actions. But at times, those standards do not work on certain opponents. Those are the most fearsome opponents of all. How Establishing a relationship with such a human is... impossible. Hey! You should be careful, you're teetering on the edge yourself. And? Anyway, where did you two tie up Nagito? Uh. The dining hall. In the old hotel building. That's where Byakuya got killed. Mm. He needs to reflect on what he did at that place. So you're saying it's better to kill off a troublesome ally before they turn into an enemy? You killed him? He's obviously alive! I only knocked him out so we could tie him up! Then... What shall we do with Nagito at this point? Let's hear everyone's opinion. Hmm... It's not safe to let him walk around freely. There's no telling what he'll end up doing next. <laughs> He's also the most likely person to be the traitor. <laughs> So isn't it okay if we just keep him tied up for a while? This chick, she's still eating a lot. I see, I see. If so, it seems it would be better to watch him for a while. But it would be bad if we don't let him eat or drink. He might end up dying for real. Uh, I know that already. Aww. Jeez, I didn't expect you two would do something like that. <laughs> I wish you'd treat it more like an achievement. <laughs> And I thought that tiny boy was up to something again. <laughs> Who are you calling tiny boy? I'll show you how fucking tiny I am, you fucking dwarf bitch. <gasps> You're here? Jeez. Figures, you guys are messed up. I get it. Is that what you guys do? If you don't like your buddy, you corner them? Tch, look at you sheep acting all righteous. Huh? What did you say? We didn't do anything wrong. Oh, did the shitty sheep at all bleed at me? What did you say? Looks like there's one more bastard who needs to get tied up. Bastard! Try it if you dare, bastard! Shut up! Shut up! You can threaten me, but I'm not scared. You, you're just a pipsqueak without the Kuzuryu clan backing you up. What'd you say? What'd you just, just say? Enough. Knock it off, you two. Y you bastards, I'll make sure you regret that later. What the heck? He's just a whiny loser. Um... Kazuichi, let us stop this already. Aww. Jeez, all this fighting, I can't tell... 
I can tell it's not going to be easy in the future. The future? I wonder if we even have a future. Hey! Hey, don't start mumbling like that. If you do, I'll get depressed too. I'm sorry! I didn't mean to. <sighs> On top of this island's mysteries, now there's also Nagito and Fuyuhiko to deal with. Jeez, it's just one thing after another. In that uncomfortable atmosphere, we finished our breakfast and then left for our respective cottage cheeses. So what should I do today? There's no way I can just stay here and do nothing. Yeah, we have some free time. Who should we hang out with? I have no fucking idea. Um... Oh yeah, that's right, I wanted to hang out with Ibuki, but I have to go to the beach so I can get more gifts. Because I don't have shit that she likes, and I can't remember where the beach is, so this might be a little bit of a hickory dickory for a minute. Hello, cows. Bye, cows. I don't remember where the fucking beach is, to be honest. Is this back to the- yeah, Central Island? Oh, is that the beach right there? Am I retarded? I might be retarded. Let me go back. I think that was the beach. I think I'm dumb. Let's see if my intuition was right on the money, shall we? Yes, it was. Oof. It's a good thing I second-guessed myself so much, otherwise I would have been dicking around for like half an hour trying to figure out where the fuck to go. Right, what do you have for me, palm tree of gifts? Give me something good. Also, how many coins do I have? I'm not sure. 117! Fucking hell, that's a lot. It's a lot more than 10. What the fuck is that? I have no idea what the fuck that is. Daddy needs a pair of headphones. Not a cosmetics mirror tray. Or that. Whatever the fuck that is. I don't like the looks of that at all. Or that. That looks like fast food takeout or some shit if I had to guess. More totally not Red Bull. Good. I don't know what that is either. That looks like one of those fruits from a Yoshi story that you have to collect. I have no idea what the fuck that is. There we go, that's what I want. Alright, I'll do like five more, how about that? Uh, sugar cube. Uh, marble, I have no idea. No fucking idea what that is. Magazine, maybe? Also have no idea, looks like a douche to me. Uh, that's the broken fishing rod, I think. Alright, let me check my gifts really fast. Also, I think I have to give something to my pet, otherwise it's gonna die, so... This thing is the most, like, needy fucking shit in the world. Like, if you don't give this thing gifts, it'll literally just die, so... Yeah. Oh, it was a bag of potato chips, was it? I see. Well, what would it like? I have no idea. It's probably not gonna know mass, so I probably shouldn't give it that. Headphones? I need those for Ibuki. I know I do. A cooking device that makes fuss simply by putting leftover rice inside it. Vietnamese? Yeah, of course it is. Makes perfect fucking sense, Vietnam. Sorry if that's, like, incredibly offensive. I'm not, by the way. I don't give a fuck. I don't care if it's offensive or not. I say so much offensive shit on here. You guys ought to be used to it by now. Okay, that took a little way bit off the despair meter, but... Alright, oh, you know what? Pet's fine. Pet seems happy. Good thing it doesn't need food or water. That's pretty convenient. If only kids in real life were like that. Wee! Shut up. You don't need food. Fuck off. Can we go to the airport? Probably. Is there anything to do at the airport? Probably not. Oh yeah, I was gonna go find Ibuki, wasn't I? Yeah, let's go find Ibuki. Maybe she's in the market. Although, no, she'd be on the second island, wouldn't she? If I had to guess. Could you imagine having to walk all the way across the fucking islands just to come to the grocery store to do your shopping? That'd be shit, wouldn't it? Cans of Spam, bottles of cola. This is my dream shit right here. Right here. Also, all the surfboard. Why are there surfboards at a market if everything is just free anyway? Why do you have to pay for stuff? That doesn't make any sense. 
If they're literally just here on vacay or whatever, like, shouldn't they be able to use whatever the fuck they want? Seeing as how they're here against their will? Kinda makes no sense, but... Alright, let's go find Ibuki, shall we? We've only been up for an hour ten, fuck. It feels about that long, to be honest. Oh, you know what? That's another idea. Maybe I should shorten the streams a bit. That way I don't, like, play through too much of the game too quickly. Before I get more alcoholies. Also, I'm having trouble. Like, I don't know what my body weight is in comparison to, like, intake. So, I'm trying to make sure, like... I'm trying to figure out the amount of shots I should be able to take and still be fine. If you know what I mean. Because, like I said, I don't get hangovers. So, because I don't get hangovers... I can't tell what is a safe amount for consumption, if you know what I mean. So it's like I have no idea like what I'm capable of without going overboard because I will not be able to tell because like I said, when I'm drunk I'm drunk and then I just I don't get hangover so I can't gauge how bad it is, if you know what I mean. And uh, the internet like has a whole lot of like complicated math shit that I'm too lazy to do. So I think next time I walk by a bar, or somebody that like knows alcohol really well, I'll tell them how much I weigh, and like what age I am, and have them give me a rough estimate on uh, the alcoholic volume of whatever I like to drink, and uh, see how many shots is safe. Oh, what's up beautiful? I was just looking for you. What's going on? The way I tied my hair today is so not cool. My charm is my best feature, and now it's gonna disappear! Uh, your entire self is your best feature, Ibuki. You're fucking amazing. Think it looks the same as usual, right? <laughs> then I shall indoctrinate you to the secrets of the hairstyle. Uh, yeah, lots of hot hair dye. For the sake of indoctrination, I was forced to watch Ibuki style her hair. Feels like Ibuki and I grew a little closer. Would you like to give Ibuki a present? Yes, absolutely. What would you like to give her? My firstborn child. Let's see. Yeah, Ibuki's fucking great. I love Ibuki. It took me a while to get used to her, but once you do, it's fucking awesome. <laughs> Are you really giving that to me? Yeah! That's awesome! Ibuki will be totally pleased with this for the rest of her life! Hajime! Oh, yes! Yes! What? Meow. Jeez, hurry! Hurry up and choose me! Uh, what? Hey, hey! Were you ever in any school clubs? School clubs, huh? I can't say for sure because of what happened to our memories, but I probably wasn't in any clubs. <laughs> That's a major bingo! Huh? What is? <sighs> well, isn't it obvious? You should be part of Ibuki's music club from now on. For a while, everyone thought music clubs were outdated because the rock and roll boom was dying off. That's totally it. But now music clubs are super popular with boys for some reason. We should jump on the bandwagon too. But I'm not really into music. <laughs> No problem, you can just pretend you're playing an instrument while a music track plays in the background. That's not something the ultimate musician should say. But even if I'm pretending, I've never even held a musical instrument. <laughs> Everyone starts at that point. As long as you feel the love, there's no problem. What do I have to do if I don't really feel the love? Aww. It's okay, jamming out is so much fun. You'll be so popular with the ladies, chicks go out with guys who pretend to be musicians all the time. That is very true. Hajime! Like that dude Skyler that plays the acoustic guitar on the college campus, and all he knows is literally the fucking name of the girl he's singing the song for, and he's like, Jenny! And then he just like strums his guitar a few times and everybody thinks he's super talented, but he's really just a fucking prick. By the way, Ibuki thinks guys who don't like bands are narcissists, so she doesn't like them. That isn't something the ultimate musician should say either. Yep, yep, now choose the musical instrument you want to use. Guitar! A boogie has dibs on the guitar, so you can't use that. Looks like I've been roped into her scheme. Guess I really have to choose something. Never played any type of instrument before, so it doesn't really matter. I would go with drums, personally, because I'm an actual drummer. Then, I guess the drums. Good job. But I'm terrible at rhythm, so I'm a very bad drummer. But I am a drummer. That's awesome, alright, it's decided. Drums are great, because you can just hit them to the beat, and you don't even need to know how to read music. <laughs> as long as you can move your arms and legs independently of each other, even a novice can play them real easy. Every drummer in the world would hate you for saying that. 
I see. Yeah, that's the I roughest see. part, is independently keeping track of beat is really difficult for different limbs. That's definitely the hardest part. Now that we've decided on an instrument, <laughs> let's start with learning how to use a loudspeaker. Hold on a second, why would you need a loudspeaker? Huh? What are you saying? It's a must-have item for live performances. <laughs> Doesn't mean you just hold and scream into it. If you don't put your soul into it, the loudspeaker won't respond to you. <laughs> put your soul into it! Shout! Shout! I was forced to do some weird training that didn't make any sense to me at all. I didn't really understand Ibuki to begin with, but with this, I don't understand her even more. Yeah, Ibuki's fucking wicked. I love Ibuki a lot. Parted ways with Ibuki and went back to my room feeling exhausted. Yep, that's what happens when you hang out with super energetic females. They can be super fun. It's still bright out. It's not like I feel like staying here and doing nothing. Maybe I should try going somewhere. More free time, wicked. I do want to go look for hidden Monokumas, but I have no idea where the fuck they are, so fuck that. I'll just pick them up as I come across them. I really don't give a shit. Honestly, I don't care. Um, we hung out with Mahiru, didn't we? No, we didn't hang out with Mahiru, did we? Because we didn't have anything Mahiru liked, did we? Or did we? Oh no, I can check the report card. Might be a good idea. Oh yeah, we did hang out with Mahiru a little bit. That's good. Yeah, well, Teru Teru's kinda dead, so we can't really hang out with him, can we? Oh yeah, we hung out with Gundam. Uh, Peko's pretty boring, honestly. Let's hang out with Sonya. Sonya's cool. Let's hang out with Sonya a little bit. Let me quickly Google up and see what Sonya likes, because I'm honestly not sure. Uh, Duncan Rumpa 2. I put an F in there. Where did I put an F in there? Fucking god, I can't type. Sorry about that. Uh, what? No, I just want, like, a gift list. Let me just, uh, do it this way. This way will be easier. There we are. Okay, she likes the potpourri and she likes brightly colored jeans and she likes Google Hoof Cake. Whatever the fuck Google Hoof Cake is. Google Hoof sounds very German. I'm not gonna lie. Sounds incredibly German. You'd think I could get some Google Hoof Cake from the Rocket Punch Market, but I can't. So uh, I think we're gonna have to go to the beach for that. I don't remember where the beach is. Shit. Or is the beach just over here and I'm dumb? The beach is over here and I'm dumb! Fucking sweet. Awesome. Less running around for me then. Right. Would you like to try your hand against the almighty Mono Mono Yashin? Absolutely. What? Oh, well, I gotta put a coin in the thing to get a thing. I don't know what the fuck that is, but it's horrifying. It's like at. What? What is it? What's that film with the stupid fucking doll? It's like a female doll and it's like really creepy. Annabelle, that's what it is. It's like fucking Annabelle status on that piece of shit. Is that mineral water? Probably. Looks like mineral water. Or as I like to call it, Fountain of Youth Douche Juice. It's harder to say than you think. Oh, uh, is that the dude from Never Ending Story? Looked like it. No idea what the fuck that is. Nope, no clue. I'll know cake when I see it. I want cake. Give me cake. That is not cake, that is tea. Tea is also nice, but I want cake. More mineral water. Okay. A carrot. Not exactly what I was hoping for. Ooh, a maid outfit. Oof. I know somebody that could wear that. Kurumi is one of my waifus. I love Kurumi a lot. I would wife Kurumi so goddamn quick. No fucking idea. 
Kurumi is fucking oof. Like, the way she approaches things mentally, her stoic attitude, her fucking, like, soft voice, just oof. The way she gets pissed off, oh my god, I would wipe Kurumi so quick. Right up my alley, honestly. Another, uh, Annabelle doll? Great. Cause as if we needed two of them, right? More ice cream skis? Okay. Ooh, another bondage jacket. Maybe one of the girls will like that. You never know. You never know, lads, honestly. Honestly, like, if I had to give anybody some advice, that is advice I would give them. Don't be afraid to, like, suggest things and try new things. But just don't go overboard with it, because that can be very awkward and super uncomfortable, but, like, just kind of, like, ease it out there. And if she, like, kind of jokes about it, maybe push a little bit further, but if she's like, oh, you're serious? I'd be like, yeah? And if she's like, I'm not into that, just drop it. But if she continues to fuck around with you more and joke about it, she's obviously into it and she wouldn't mind it, so go for it. It's my advice. Ladies, that goes for you as well. Because I know some of you ladies are freaks. Some of you definitely are. You know it as well. You just don't want guys to know it. But you are. Oh, I know. Oh yes, I do know. Ooh, another maid outfit. Jesus Christ, this game is like reading my mind. I was just thinking I could really go for another maid outfit. You know what? Let me look up a picture of this stupid fucking cake. That's the first time we've gotten lucky this time. Uh. Dongan Lumpa 2. I don't remember what it's called. I'm just gonna type cake. Oh, thank you, Google. Fucking saved me right then. Let me see what the picture of it looks like. Okay, it looks like a trapezoidal weird gelatin that's brown. Fair enough. I don't think I've gotten one of those yet, so I'm gonna keep trying. Those are clickety clacks. I don't want those. I don't want ice cream skis. Although my repeat rate is 44%, that is quite high. That looks like a high grade camera, honestly. What's up with the game and giving me these fucking ice cream mint skis? Fuck off. Hawaiian shirt? That can also fuck off. Nobody looks good in a Hawaiian shirt. That's my fucking... That's my advice, lads. Nobody looks good in a Hawaiian shirt, right? Especially not fat dudes, like the guy from Jurassic Park. Uh-uh-uh. That guy. Nobody likes a dude in a Hawaiian shirt. Nobody likes a girl in a Hawaiian shirt, neither. Just eh. It's really tacky. It's just ooh. Quit giving me Hawaiian shirts! It's like the game fucking knows. Give me this fucking Gruppelhoof cake. I want German cake. Although I probably shouldn't be asking for German cake. Because that could mean something entirely different in Germany, you just don't know. Germans are so fucking freaky sometimes, you just... You can never be too careful, that's all I'm gonna say. Germans scare me sometimes, I'm not gonna lie. Nintendo 3DS, perfect. I don't know what that is, but it's not a cake. I think that's new. That looked like a Pop-Tart or something. Lime, maybe? No idea. A bottle of ketchup, maybe? More totally not Red Bull. I don't know what that is. I don't know what that is, but that's not what I'm looking for either. Fuck me. Come on. Uh, this game fucking hates me, doesn't it? Watch, I'm gonna blow through all my coins, I'm not gonna get the cake. Also, I know this is quite boring, but... It's important, alright? Muy importante. And the more time I can get out of this game doing stupid bullshit while I don't have alcohol, the better. Because it's going to preserve game time where I can have alcohol, you know what I mean. Ooh, that looks quite cool. That kind of looks like Corvo's mask from uh, Dishonored a little bit. Wouldn't mind having one of them. I've done a drawing of it before and it came out alright. Wasn't the best I could do. 
it's okay though. Alright, 25 coins left. We got another pair of headphones, so that's pretty wicked. Ibuki will like that, even though I already gave her a pair of them. Give her a backup just in case her ones fail. It's always good to have a backup set or a pair of headphones. It's very important. Wait, what were those? Were those jeans? Oh, yeah. Give me my free shit and let me fuck off. What was that? Were those the designer jeans or whatever? Because Sonia likes those as well. And if we have something that Sonia likes, that's good enough for me. Brightly colored jeans. What did she like? Brightly colored jeans! Alright, we're in there. Wicked. Alright, we didn't get German cake, but we got German jeans, and that's pretty close. That's good enough. I'm happy with that. Alright, let's go find Sonia. Where the fuck is she? Also, how's my pet doing? Why is the despair meter going up? Or do I just have to give it gifts to keep that from going up? Is that what it is? Let's give you that. I don't know what it'll like. Or does it just take whatever? If it just takes whatever, I don't think it matters. If that's the case, I'll just keep giving it shit that I don't care about. Okay, have some of that. Chocolate will probably kill you, but... Okay, no, I guess it didn't kill you. That's good, isn't it? A baguette? Mm. Yeah, you can have that as well. Alright, we doing good? Alright, fantastic. I hate monitoring that pet, that's really tedious. Right. Oh yeah, I was gonna see where the fuck Sony was. Whoops. Yeah, nice. Thanks for crossing him out with a huge pink X so I know who's dead. Uh, Chiaki's over there. Uh, Peko and Nekamaru are there. That's Gundam and Kakuzuichi. Okay. Where is that? Okay, that's on the other island near the... Oh, she's in the library. Okay. That shouldn't be too hard. He says. Excuse the yawn. I'm not even tired. I'm not exhausted either. Like, nothing. It's just like a random off yawn, I guess. Although, if I were to see Ibuki in a swimsuit, I think that would perk me up a little bit. Not gonna lie. Yes. Alright, let's go hang out with Sonia, and then we'll probably progress a little bit of story, maybe? Hopefully? Because I honestly don't know what the fuck I'm doing. I forgot how this game progresses story, so, like, I don't know what to do to trigger specific things. So I'm probably just gonna be dicking around like a fucking retard until I figure it out. Which isn't very good, but... Did I go to the wrong bit? I didn't go to the wrong bit, did I? The first island is the one with the fucking library on it, isn't it? Also, I gotta remember that the numbers go down if you run to the right, and they go up if you run to the left. Because I'm honestly just taking this way longer route, and I don't need to. But it won't let me warp there, so I don't have any other option, honestly. Good thing Hajime has long fucking legs. So this would be two, yeah? Oh, I see. I'm on island number one. Oh, this is the central island. Okay, they all branch off. I get it. Alright, I'm dumb. Geography is not my strong suit. Then again, what is? So. I get it. There's a central island, and then each of these islands sprout off like a spider web style from everything else. I get it. Fair enough. Alright. Here is the library. Where we shall meet up with our foreign exchange student wifey. One of these girls is good. Choose wisely. You... Um... I wonder if Nagito is alright. I am somewhat worried. Oh, I forgot all about Nagito, I'm not gonna lie. What should I do? Should I invite Sonya to hang out? Yeah. Yes. I feel like ducking a little walk. Would you like to join me? Absolutely. 
Imagine if Kazuichi was walking by and he saw me with Sonya. Oh my god, that'd be great, wouldn't it? Spent time today walking with Sonya. She has a beautiful name. I probably don't deserve it, but it looks like Sonya and I grew a little closer. Would you like to give Sonya a present? Yeah. Dude, Sonya would be like the easiest girl to shop for. You know what you do? You go on to fucking horrormerch.com, plug by the way, and just order her like some Friday the 13th merch. Fuck yeah, dude. She'd be easy to please. Hell yeah, man. I could totally hit it off with a girl like Sonya. Easily. Surprise! Could this possibly be from the legend that has been passed on generation after generation? Well? Hajime, as I thought, you must be the person that I have been anticipating. <laughs> I shall gladly take important care of this. By the way, you're really good with words. Of course! I have done much studying, after all. You speak really fluently. Yes. I do not know how many times I have seen I will arrest your eyes. When I arrived in Japan, the first thing I did was run across the Spain Saka. Uh, I see. I don't really understand, though. Um... In my opinion, I believe that the best Japanese dramas were... Well? The ones aimed at women between the ages of 20 to 34 just before Japan's economic bubble burst. The trendiness, energy, and quality entertainment was truly at its zenith during this period. Yeah, I see. It's no use. I can't keep up with what she's saying. At all. And what the heck does she mean by bubble? However... Like all entertainment, Japanese dramas heavily referenced their native culture. Because of this, slang expressions were often used. So there are some things foreigners may not understand. Um... Hajime, if you are willing, would you train me? Train? Of course I'd run a train. I mean, I can teach you some things I understand, but... <laughs> Thank you very much. Um, so for example, um, when lovers go on the ski trip, they always end up trapped by a blizzard, right? Is that situation what you call the ritual where they warm themselves under a blanket while naked? Well, that's not really a ritual. It's, um, how should I put it? It's more like a cliche. I... Oh, is that so? I certainly thought it was something that's known in my country as Mankango. Huh? M Congo? It is a tradition in my country. According to tradition, lovers cannot become one until they show each other the Makongos they have grown. It is too embarrassing, so please do not make me say it. Embarrassing? What is a Makongo anyway? Huh? I cannot say. You will get the nosebleed. I is it really that embarrassing? Seems the Novacella Kingdom is filled with more mysteries than I thought. Yep, sounds like we have some stuff to experiment with later, Mr. Hajime. After having an awkward conversation with Sonia, I returned to my room. And I had a drink of Coke, because I still haven't had that drink yet. Are you guys ready, by the way? Oh yeah, you like that? You like that? Hold on, give me a second, it's a little bit fizzy. Oh yeah, right there. Oh yeah, that sweet fucking cap opening ASMR. Fucking oof. Ahem. Hope Speak Academy School Trip Exhibit. Oh, that's fucking delicious. Fucking refreshing as fuck. Emergency Especially during emergency. the summer. Cause it gets super hot. Students, head over to Although I really should drink more water, but I don't can. because I'm irresponsible. Whoever gets there first, I'll treat you to my special made curry rice tomorrow night! Come on, hurry the F up! You can say fuck, it's fine. I say fuck all the time. Curry rice, huh? Feels like I haven't eaten that in a while. Wait, who'd actually fall for that? I don't know what he's planning this time around. But there's no way I can ignore it. Jabberwock Park again, huh? Not like I give a fuck, I should go visit Nagito in the fucking, uh, whatchamacallit. Even though I forgot about him earlier, but fuck off, it doesn't matter, does it? Oh yeah, that's right, I'm going to the park. I almost immediately forgot where the fuck I was going. I'm not gonna lie. My memory is so terrible.
These cows are starting to freak me out, because they're in the same position every time, looking the exact same way every time. It's a little bit weird, I'm not gonna lie. Central Island? Yeah, that's, that's where the park is, isn't it? Right. I'll go for, like, maybe another 25 minutes. Put in a two-hour stream today, and then hopefully I'll get some alcohol sooner than I hope, but... I'm not sure. Because I'm out of whiskey, and that is not good. I wish I had more, but I don't. Oh yeah, so the reason I have not got my ID updated, check this out. Basically, an ID is mandatory for you to have, but if it expires, which is inevitable, they want you to pay 50 bucks to replace it. Fuck off. I ain't got that kind of fucking money. Especially not to spend on stupid fucking bullshit. I don't have that kind of cash. I don't give a fuck. I mean, they could make it a little bit less expensive, you know? Seeing as how the money's all circulating through the government anyway. It's kind of dumb, honestly. Especially with the economy as flung out of Yahoo! fucking order as it is. I'm the first one here. The curry's all mine. She totally took the bait. Indeed, I wonder what kind of curry it is. You too. Hey, hey! What's the scientific term for when you get hungry after you hear the word curry? What are you saying? You guys are fucking stupid. Don't get worked up over something so idiotic. Bastard! Hey, where the hell is Monokuma? Get out here! Thank you for waiting! Okie dokie, thanks for waiting. Thanks for the miracle of waiting. Hey, Monokuma, I was the first one here. That means I got dibs on the curry. What are you gonna do? No need to rush. No need to rush. I'll pro properly treat you to my special made Monokuma curry tomorrow night. M Monokuma curry? What? It's an extremely delicious curry made from unknown meat, wilted vegetables, and a mysterious brand of rice. Hey. Can't imagine anything delicious based on those ingredients. No worries, it takes skill to make curry nasty. Good instincts. That is truly a nice line, but it is meaningless. You fiend. Now, Monokuma, let us hear what your business is. However, you should know I, the Supreme Overlord, have very little time to spare. Understand? Go by four if this is something foolish, know that I will feed your remains to these beasts. Wah -wah? Huh, huh? You haven't noticed yet? The reason why I summoned you guys, if you look closely at this park, you should be able to notice. Huh? I like how Fuyuhiko is over here being a fucking absolute loner. That is fantastic. What is this? <gasps> Isn't this an arcade machine? Correct. Like Wreck-It Ralph? That's correct! Thank you for waiting. So, I would like the long-awaited reincarnation time to begin. Don't tell me you're going to tell us to play this game. <laughs> hey, what's the game? What games are on this? Sh she's totally into it. She's breathing really fast. Hmm. I've only prepared one game, but it's truly a gem. <laughs> After all, it's a game that I personally created. Huh? You did? Then, then it is not something I could possibly look forward to playing. What the heck? No, no, don't compare it to those amateur fan service games. You know that famous game that everyone's been waiting for a sequel to? Well, I made a brand new game instead. Kodaka, you ass! F famous game. I shall now, now then, I shall present it. Ta da! The name of the game is Twilight Syndrome Murder Case! Fucking Garbo. Hot Garbo. What the heck? That's pretty lame. I wanna play games about riddle solving professors or collecting cute monsters. Stupid! Don't say such silly things! What if we get weighed down by all the quarters? Also, I think my waifu Karumi from uh, V3 is voiced by the same chick that does, um, Hiyoko's voice, which is a little bit weird. Hmm. Twilight Syndrome is an adventure game series. The first one was released in 1996. It's about a group of high school girls who go exploring in order to verify numerous urban legends. The player controls the character like a side-scroller. Meaningless. I have no interest in weak things like video games. And I don't even know what generation and game that old is! With your face, I find that hard to believe. Boring! 
But adventure games are boring and tedious to play, right? Don't diss adventure games. Besides, there's a lot of reasons to make one. No, no. You know, like budgetary reasons. Aww. Man, that was a big fan of the series. I don't know why, but I feel like you've totally tainted the series. What are you saying? Shouldn't you be tainting your face with tears of gratitude? I've cast a spotlight on a neglected title. And what's the point of this game? Hmm? I mean, it's not like you're telling us to play it just to enjoy it, right? You certainly noticed the good part. That's right! This game is gonna be your next motive! The motive you need to kill people! Oh joy. After all, I'm gonna get bored if the next Blacken doesn't show up soon. Could it be? This game is the motive? Actually... In truth, this game's theme is a missing link. You know, it's a recurring theme for mysteries, right? It's kind of like a hidden connection. Um, what does that mean? Here! If you're interested, then try playing it. <laughs> uh, okay. Hey! You can't. You gotta say no. It's a trap. Hey. Hey, if that's the motive, won't it be okay if we just don't play it? <laughs> that's absolutely right! You're quite the genius! I see, that never occurred to me. Are you sure about this? But are you sure you want to do that? Hey, um... Learning the motive means you're going to be prepared, you know. Humans who are prepared and humans who aren't. I don't have to tell you which is strong and which is weak, right? You... What do you mean? <laughs> For example, if someone secretly played it, that person might come and kill you. Watch out! In the context of a preemptive strike, that's truly fatal. What do you mean? <laughs> you guys are all enemies, you know. Is it really alright for your enemy to have an advantage? If you're going to just ignore it, then do whatever you like. Even if you're fully aware of the situation. W what the heck? This is bad. Hey, what should we do? But... Y even if you ask me, there's no way I'll know. Anyway. It would be dangerous to carelessly touch this game. There's no mistaking that. You are right. It might be better if we wait and see how this plays out. But... Wouldn't it be bad if someone secretly played the game while we are waiting? Whoever gets the motive would become the hunter and the rest of us would be the prey. That's a messed up way to think about it. What are you saying? But it's true. <laughs> <laughs> it's your loss if you end up dying. All we need to do is kill if we want to win. I don't want to end up like Biaki or Teru Teru. After Fuyuhiko spat those words, we watched him turn and walk away. But... Fuyuhiko makes a good point. Huh? You two, what are you saying? Do you really want to kill someone that badly? Cause, cause... It's not like that. I mean, how can you be cautious if you don't even know the motive? Hmm. That... That might be true, but... Nope. Doesn't matter. Huh? Motive or otherwise, it doesn't matter. I won't let another killing happen. Killing. I will never, I'll never allow it. Ever let another killing happen. And if you ever interrupt me again, Chiaki, I swear to fucking God. I'll slap you across your fucking stupid cute little face. Ahem! Hope Speak Academy School Trip Executive Committee has an announcement to make! You're all gay lords. Okay, see you later. It is now 10 p.m. Please return to your rooms and relax. Let the sound of the ocean gently rock you to sleep. Or drown you. Now then, sweet dreams, everyone. Good night. You know what? That's what there should be in the next Rampa. There should be like a drowning mixed with like an electrocution. That might be a cool plot. Has anybody ever been electrocuted in a Danganronpa? No. Nobody's ever been electrocuted in a Danganronpa game. That'd be fucking cool. Huh? It's already that time, huh? It's better if we just break for today. Hmm. Try to think about it tonight more carefully. The correct thing for me to do. But... 
Regardless, I will never kill anyone. I mean, it's impossible. Um. Me too. It's definitely impossible. For now. Then we should turn in for the day. I'll see y'all tomorrow. Burdened by uneasy thoughts, we all went back to our respective cottages. But still. That was totally unexpected. I can't believe she actually said something like that so forcefully. I will never ever let another killing happen. She's probably dealing with all this in her own way, but... Sleepy. I feel sleepy. I should go back too. I can't read her at all. Sleep in video games, dude. That's her entire character. A motive to kill someone, huh? Is doing nothing at all correct? Or is trying to stop it from happening while being aware of the danger correct? There's no way I'd understand something like that. In this messed up world, there's no way I can know what's right. This is troubling. You don't know how tough it is to be successful. I'm so jealous of people who aren't successful and don't have anything. The biggest obstacle to challenging new things is definitely your past successes. Those always hold me back, all the time. I'm so jealous of people who don't have anything. People with no expectations sure are happy. I mean, they can do anything they want without worrying about anything. Man, being successful is tough. I still want Samuel L. Jackson to narrate those. Hope Speak Academy School Trip Executive Committee has an announcement to make. Good morning, everyone. Looks like today is going to be another perfect tropical day. Yeah, with a little sprinkle of murder, maybe. Now then, by any chance. Show some enthusiasm and make sure to give it our all today. Ready, Ru? Then. I should go to the restaurant for now. As if by habit, I left my cottage cheese and I just so happened to bump into a certain someone. What's up, Fuyuhiko? Huh? Oh, it's you, Fuyuhiko. How unlucky. I have to see your face this morning. Hey, bastard. Just so you know, I don't want to talk to you at all. I'm in a really bad mood right now. It's not like you're going to the restaurant now, right? Were you planning to go somewhere else? Shut up! Like I said, I don't want to talk to you. I'm just going back to my cottage. Leave me alone. Say you're going back. Did you go somewhere? It's got nothing hey, didn't I tell you I don't want to talk? Is it that game? What? What do you mean? So it's true. What do you have in your hand? Hey, what's that envelope? What's inside? Shut up! What makes you think you have any right to question me? I'm not trying to question you. I was just... Are you saying you don't like the fact I acted on my own without consulting you guys? Is there something wrong with that? Huh? You gonna tie me up like Nagito? Seriously, I didn't mean... Dumbass. Don't talk to me ever again. If you do, I swear I'll fucking kill you. The guy, he's gonna be dangerous if we leave him alone. I should let everyone know, but I should be careful not to make too much trouble. I heard you screaming at Fuyuhiko. What the fuck? Your screams echo the sounds of banshees in the night. Says Gundam. <gasps> What's up, Wendy? Ah, oh, nice timing. I've been waiting for anybody to come by at a time like this. Waiting? Huh? Hey. I was thinking about delivering this. Is this someone's breakfast? Ah, uh, is that for Nagito? <laughs> I mean, if we just leave him all tied up, he's gonna starve. Hmm. Like, how long are they planning to continue this? Well, there's no way we can keep him tied up forever. Aww. Yeah, that's what I thought at first, but maybe it's better if he was tied up forever. Oof, Wendy. Damn. What does that mean? I actually went to see Nagito earlier. I kindly brought him breakfast. Jeez. And then, listen to this. He seriously pisses me off. He said he doesn't like rice, so he wanted toast instead. Doesn't he understand the situation he's in right now? 
So that's why you're running back and forth. That must be hard for you. Really? Hard? Do you really think so? Hey, hey! Then bring this to Nagito on my behalf. Huh? Gee. I was forced to run back and forth too many times. I'm done being his maid. Not only that, I just remembered that I have a little business to take care of. Business? Thank you. I'll leave the rest to you. Mahiru pushed the tray into my hands and ran away before I could object. Jeez, it's always something. As I recall, he's tied up at the old building where the murder took place, right? Right, well, we know where we're off to, don't we? Right next door. He says as he turns the wrong fucking direction because he is not a GPS. God damn, that fucking scared me. I don't know, if you, if you saw and turned out of the corner of your eye and saw somebody like Kazuichi, that'd be horrifying. Also, I just skipped that by accident. I didn't expect that, I'm sorry. If I'm not allowed inside, why is Nagito inside? You know about it too, Hajime? Because um... Nekamaru and Kazuichi earnestly told me that Monami is the only one we can rely on. And it's true that Nagito needs to reflect on his actions. I came here to deliver food to Nagito. It counts as murder if he ends up starving to death, right? Please. Starve? <laughs> what? It's okay to go inside then. Yes, make sure you tell him to chew thoroughly before he swallows. Yeah, otherwise he could choke to death and it'd be my fault because I gave him the food, right? So, uh, rip run. Maybe not. Where the fuck is this door, or am I stupid? Game, come on, for fuck's sake. I'm stupid, alright. Dining hall it is. So Nagito's tied up at the back? Sounds kinky. Instinctively, I gulped back my dried saliva. Why am I so nervous? How can saliva be dry if it's constantly wet? What? Pushing aside my nervous tension, I vigorously opened the door to the dining hall. And saw some weird kinky freaky deaky shit? As I quietly peeked through the door, I saw him on the other side. He was waiting for me with a big smile on his face. Hajime? I always wish you'd find me tied up like this. This is gonna be one fun time. Uh, could it be? Did you take time out of your busy day to bring some food to little old me? Wow, I'm so happy. As you can see, I can't exactly greet you with my full hospitality. Yeah, full gotchi hospitality, yeah. A little bit. A little bit Monka TOS. He was the same as usual. Unlike his smile, his words carried a certain heaviness. As if a black poison was falling from his mouth every time he spoke, filling his surroundings with darkness. An illusion, but one I couldn't help feeling at that moment. Uh -huh. What happened? Your face looks kinda scary. I didn't come here to talk to you. I just came to bring you some food. Come on, eat it. Oh, uh, you're not going to feed me. That's gay, fam. Well, I can't eat it on my own. You know, since my hands are all tied up. Actually, I was really embarrassed to ask a girl to feed me. So I'm glad you're the one who came. That's because Nagito's gachi bus as fuck. He's sitting here tied up, saying, I would have been really embarrassed to ask a girl to feed me. So could Hajime, with his peachy fucking ass, come over here and give me a fucking choo-choo in the mouth, Nagito? Oh, I get it. Friggin' Mahiru, that must be why she asked me to go instead of her. Anyway, what happened to Mahiru? Did she leave saying she had some- Fucking Nagito's gay as hell for Hajime, isn't he? Huh? Why do you know that? By the way, I heard about... Twilight Syndrome murder case, was it? I have mixed feelings. I really like that game a lot. D don't change the subject. Nagito liking anything you... aside from Hajime's dick is incredibly surprising. Oh well, I'm a little disappointed. Hajime, if you're here to see me, I guess I really am the ultimate lucky student. It's not like you yeah, ultimate bit. to ignore the threat that's standing right in front of you. So are you really planning not to play the game? Do you think Monokuma will just let that slide? Well, seeing as how he didn't think of it, I don't think he would give a fuck either way. Well, that is... You guys should confront it. After all, hope springs when you confront despair. Or you could just not play the fucking game at all. It almost sounds reasonable. Running away from your problems isn't a solution. I'm just putting it off. But... I don't want to be tricked by you anymore. Bye now. 
Well, if you weren't presented with the game in the first place, you could just ignore it like it never existed and refuse to give a fuck about it. Planning to feed me? Hey, Hajime! Yep, got you bus right up until the end, yep. Just like Nagito, honestly. Damn it, I barely talked to him and I'm already not feeling so well. But I really can't stop thinking about it. Is it really okay to leave that game alone while I'm doing nothing about it? Someone else is. No, nothing good can come from thinking about it. There's something else I need to do. What do you mean, something else I need to do? That's very vague. Way to give me no fucking direction at all, thanks. Although I guess I am a teenage boy on an island full of hot girls, maybe that's what it's trying to get across. Except for Mikon, Mikon can fuck off. Ugh. And Hiyoko, because she looks like 10. Akane can also fuck off, because she has like no personality. Sonya's cool though. And uh, Ibuki is pretty wicked. Gundam is also wicked. Gundam is one of the best girls by far. Even though he's not a girl, but... Definitely by far one of the best. Absolutely. Without question. And if you question it, you're wrong. I don't think I've met a single person who plays this that doesn't like Gundam, honestly. I think in all my years of playing Danganronpa games, I don't think I've met a single person that dislikes Gundam. He's too fucking cool for words, that's why. Is there any hidden Monokumas up in this bitch? No? I already got the one from over there. It's not one hiding up, like, behind the sign. No, alright. Might as well check. What the fuck am I meant to be doing, then? Also, how's my pet? I bet it's suffering. It probably is, isn't it? Oh, yeah, it's suffering a lot. Okay. What happens if I get the fucking hope meter all the way up? What happens then? I don't want to give it wine. If I can't give a kid wine, I'm certain you can't give a freaking pig pet wine. What is this? Well, it's not going to want diamonds, is it? What? Does it not matter what I give it? Like, does it not fucking matter? Let's give it that. I don't have any use for a fucking fan, although it might get quite hot. No, it didn't give a fuck, so I can just give it whatever and it doesn't matter? I thought there would be like a certain selection of gifts or something that were like meant for the pets or something, but I guess not. What would it want a crowbar for to attack me with when I don't feed it? Fuck off. What? No, I'm keeping that. It looks cool. <laughs> yeah, let's give it a fashion magazine meant for women in their 20s. See what happens. Fuck off, as if it knows how to read. It just wants shit at this point to know that it's getting shit for free. That's all it wants. It just wants material possessions. It doesn't actually love you. It's not a Tamagotchi pet. It doesn't give a fuck. Selfish little fucking shit. Right, what am I off to do now? I have free time, but like, what the fuck do I do? Also, how the fuck do I get to the other island? Because I don't remember. Or do I have to- I have to go back to the central one, don't I? Do I have anything that Gundam likes? I don't know if I do or not. If I do, I may hang out, hang out with Gundam again, because Gundam is wicked. Uh, Gundam Tanaka gifts. Just because I cannot be fucking bothered trying to figure out what he likes. I don't give a fuck. Uh, he likes the blue ram a lot. Uh, he likes sunflower seeds as well. I have a ton of that blue ram, I'll give him some of that. <laughs> yeah, I'll give Gundam a ram, yeah. Let's make history. It's time for me to make my next move. Even I can die of boredom. What should I do? Can I even hang out with someone like Gundam? Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. fucking lootly. Oh, so you're planning to entertain me. Absolutely. Hopefully. Spend some time with Gundam today, quizzing each other about animals. Gundam was far better than me at it because he's the ultimate fucking breeder. Would you like to give Gundam a present? Yes. Absolutely. What would I like to give him? Whatever the fuck I can find. Some of that. Totally not Red Bull. I see. You're holding quite an interesting item there. That item must be beyond your power. You can entrust it into my care for free. Let me tell you Hold it. This. If you cherish your life, it's better if you don't come any closer. My magical beasts have a thirst to kill. 
You mean your hamsters? I thought they were docile animals. Just as I thought, you know nothing. You will know true terror if you look down on them just because they fit in your palm. They are cruel devil beasts that will devour their parents, their siblings, and even their own children. Their territoriality is frightening. They'll never stop attacking until their opponent is dead. Fall, my dears. Today's fight started when San Di got greedy and encroached upon Jump P's territory. Jump P was knocked aside and his foot stepped into Magazi's territory. Then Magazi got angry and unleashed his anger onto Chom P. Listen well. I was able to quell their rage by sacrificing my left hand, but it may not be that easy next time. I see, that's troubling. Could that be the reason Gundam's hand is always wrapped in that bandage? Let me ask. By the way, do you know which species of my four Dark Davids of Destruction has the largest body? You mean which species of hamster? Um, this one? The attribute they possess is somewhat incompatible with me. They boast such a small and speedy size that you will lose sight of them if you're not used to it. Okay, well, I uh, got it wrong, clearly. Fall, my tears. If that type of demon beast became so enormous that it would be superior to others, then its owner would deserve to die thousands of deaths. You! Just because they're adorable doesn't mean you can let them get fat. Think of the strain upon their hearts. God fucking damn it. Dude, I had a fucking... Three possible answers and I get it wrong twice. Fuck me, man. This is why I don't gamble. It was close. Yes. Those fearsome demon beasts boast the largest size among all hamster species. I'm amazed that you got it right on the third try out of three possible answers. Maybe humans are not as dumb as I thought. However, they are also the most docile and are known for being the smartest, too. Other tribes feel no fear. Thus they give it their all when biting and ripping what stands before them. It appears you but only Goldens escape. know fear, thus they usually do not bare their teeth once they recognize you. You're saying they understand what happens when they bite people? This too That's why you must pay attention to their stress is. levels when you're breeding them. I certainly didn't know that. Nature. However, that isn't the only feature of Goldens. They have many other unlimited possibilities. Their fur color, quality, and patterns. You could even say they have unlimited combinations. This body is After much research, the fruits of my labor was about to be born. A fearsome demon beast with sparkling silver fur. A hybrid creature with dominant spots and bands. How foolish of me! <laughs> But now all I can do is pray for the safety of the mother and child I've left behind. I don't really understand what he's saying, but he seems to be worried about the hamsters he left behind. You were probably taking care of other animals, right? Um, are those demon beasts okay too? Let's make history. There are no problems in that regard. I have pupils all around the world. I've already given them orders to continue my research into the synthesis of demon beasts. <laughs> they know how to avoid any lethal genetics. They will carry out my will and conduct no atrocious experiments. I shall Beyond that, I've already made arrangements to leave my demon beasts to those I trust. He's crazy prepared. Listening to Gundam makes me rethink how much of a responsibility it is to raise pets. Do you, you will never experience such a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. But, if you ever do breed them, make sure you provide plenty of exercise, high-quality food, and a place to sleep. How Such luxuries mean everything to creatures who only live 1,095 days after they're born. Remember well. After saying that, Gundam walked away. I feel like I got a glimpse of the deep affection Gundam feels toward all animals, not just hamsters. Wicked. I do like Gundam a lot. After seeing Gundam wallowing in sadness, I left the area. It's still light outside, there's still plenty of time left. Maybe I should try going somewhere, or should I spend time with someone? Let's go hang out with Ibuki again, fuck it. I do have another pair of headphones, I believe. It's not like my stupid pig pet is gonna need them, is it? Seeing as how my other pet died, because I didn't know what to do, because the game doesn't tell you anything. 
It's like, yeah, here's a Tamagotchi, take care of it. It's like, okay, food and water? It's like, nah, it doesn't matter what you give it, it just likes material possessions and leeching off your soul. Thanks. Uh, where the fuck is Sabuki off to then? What? No, that's Mikan. Nobody wants to hang out with Mikan. Mikan's a fucking loser. Nobody there. Nobody there. Well, Gundam's there, but we're not off to see Gundam, are we? Where the fuck's Ibuki to, then? Oh, maybe she's in her room. That could be it. What? No. Because she's not there. What the fuck? Is Ibuki just unavailable right now? Maybe that's what it is. I don't know. I don't, I don't see her fucking anywhere, so what the fuck? There's Pekko. Oh, there's Ibuki. Where is that? Diner? Alright, she's at the diner. Alright, fair enough. That only took, like, what, five years? Jesus. This is why you never depend on me to do anything well. Because I will fuck it up every fucking time. I'm going the wrong way. That's right. If I want to go back to the main island, I have to go over this way, don't I? Or do I? Yeah, because it's right next to the airport, isn't it? Yeah. Right, let's go find Ibuki. And see what crazy antics she's up to this time. No, I don't need to go to the beach, I don't think. That is something I kind of hate about this one. I wish they would have made running around a lot more convenient. I think they do it the best in V3, honestly, I do. I think V3 is like the best design for like an overworld kind of situation. Like, you got the outside bit, and then you have the inside bit, you have the restroom, and then you have the library, and then you just go up when you want to go to other areas. It's very simple. I was supposed to go to the second island, wasn't I? I was, yeah, that's where the diner's at. I'm fucking dumb. Rambling on about fucking nonsense instead of paying attention. To numbered wooden bridges, because I'm dumb. Okay, now where the fuck is the diner? Or is the diner right here? Hi, Mekon. Bye, Mekon. Fuck you. Also, the diner is right here, Poggers. Super smart. Not really. So is Ibuki in the parking lot? Ah, she is. Look at that, I don't even have to go inside the building. She already knows what's up. What's up, Ibuki? I want tea time! What should I do? Should I hang out with Ibuki? Yeah. yeah. You're gonna have tea with me? You rock! Fuck yeah, I do. I had a lively time drinking tea with Ibuki. And because she's so retarded, I'm gonna excuse that horrible pun. Feels like Ibuki and I grew a little closer. Would you like to give Ibuki a present, among other things? Absolutely. Um, Where's my pair of headphones? I know I have one. I know I just gave her headphones, but she's gonna get another pair of headphones, because I don't know what else she likes. Yes. No fucking give the thing. Why does Hajime want to know what Ibuki wants? Meow. Jeez, this is bad. I might end up falling in love with you. Let's start the club. Club? Were you actually serious about that? Oh, oh, oh. Today's training is ba dum, ba dum, ba dum, ba dum. I got it. Racing! Ah, yeah. Racing? Does that have anything to do with music? <laughs> Hell to the yes! <laughs> if you want to learn proper music theory, training yourself in the rhythm of racing is a must. Music has its own language too, you know. It's always nice to hear music that adheres to the principles of music theory. And it's easier to make people feel the beat as well. Huh. But Ibuki doesn't care about that at all, though. Yeah. Come on, let's go! Not only was I bossed around by Ibuki, I had to run five laps around the island for some reason. Well, that's good, that's healthy. Man, that was really fun, Hajime. Uh, no it wasn't. Oh, <sighs> are you so energetic? Aww. What are you saying? There's no way you could go through a live performance if you get winded by something like this. That may be true. Then do you usually train like this all the time? I don't do it for training. Running is Ibuki's hobby. I thought this was training so I could learn proper music theory. Meow. I also like playing one-person tag and one-person hide-and-seek, too. It's a lot of fun. Have you ever found an eight-leaf clover by the riverbank? Aww. Seriously, so hard. I definitely can't find one at all. Uh. Isn't that because eight leaf clovers don't exist? Hey, hey! Also, it's fun to play a game called Will I Get There? It's super thrilling. 
Ibuki forgets lots of stuff really fast, so she tries to write memos for important things. <laughs> but on days I play that game, I go outside without thinking about anything. When I do that, surprise, surprise, no matter how long I'm out, I can't get back home. I just think of fun stuff all the time, and after I've taken a bunch of shortcuts and detours, I usually end somewhere I've never been before. One time I nearly walked into a fishing boat and almost ended up in a foreign country. Ah, totally oh, but sometimes I like to spend time relaxing, too. The other day I woke up in the morning with a powerful hankering to look at the stars. <laughs> so I just waited all day till the stars came out. Impossible, there's no way I can keep up with what she's saying. Also, also, once Ibuki starts talking, it seems like she'll never stop. Like that's a bad thing? Ibuki's fucking great, full of energy. After being constantly bombarded by weird topics, I was exhausted by the time I returned to my room. But I couldn't stop thinking about that sick-ass smile. Also, why is there a shit stain on my wall? In the game, I mean. Ahem. God, that would have been weird, wouldn't it? School trip executive committee has that was an close. Announcement to make. It Just is kidding. Now 10 PM. <laughs> Not really. Fuck off, Please Monokuma. Return to your, rooms return to your fucking daiquiri and fucking ocean. piss off. Gently rock you to sleep. Now then... Sweet dreams, everyone. Listen to the sound of Ibuki gently rocking me to sleep, if you know what the fuck I mean. Fuck off, Monokuma. On any other night, I'd probably just go to sleep, but I can't stop thinking about that game. It's not like I believe what Nagito said. It's just not a good idea to leave it alone. Twilight Syndrome murder case, huh? Should give it a try. Just a little. Just to see how it is. Yep. See, that's how all drug addictions start. Oh, I should give it a try just to see how it is. Uh-oh, now I can't stop. Now I'm in debt. Now my wife left me. Now I'm fucked. See, there you go. Drugs are bad. Drugs are bad. Okay. Drugs are very bad. Don't want to do drugs. Drugs are not good. Okay. What's up, Chiaki? Huh? Where are you going at this hour? The Batakuba announcement was just made. Then what the fuck are you doing out here? Well, you know, what about you? What are you doing? Yeah. Hey, hey. I was about to go back to my cottage. Anyway, what about you? What do you mean, you know? Uh, uh... Felt a little hungry, so I was thinking about getting a snack from either the restaurant or supermarket. Mm. I see. So I'll be going now. I'll see you later. Hajime. Huh? Yep. You're full of fucking shit, you stupid liar. I bought you, bitch. Good night. I'll see you tomorrow. I feel like she totally saw through me. Well, you are being transparent because you're basic ass fucking Hajime, aren't you? Dickhead. That was horrifying. I don't like how Peko just kind of blipped into existence there, especially with this creepy ass music. I didn't like that at all. That was fucking sinister as fuck. Peko does look a little bit scary, especially at nighttime. If you were to pass her in a fucking dark alley, oof. Good lord. Also, these cows are still creeping me the fuck out. Don't like them. I don't fucking like them. Just, I don't like them. Fucking. <laughs> ah! Fucking god! You cannot put a ginger person out of the corner of the camera like that and not give me any fucking warning. You just can't. God, fucking horrifying shit. This should be a horror game in and of itself, I swear to Christ. God damn. It did that to me with Himiko in V3 as well. I fucking rounded the corner. I thought it was fucking Chucky for a minute. It's time to play Hide the Soul, Andy. Where are you, you little shit? Nowhere. Just hiding. Hide and seek. Yeah, but seriously, ginger kids are fucking horrifying. If you ever pass a ginger kid in the dark, you best be on your way. Catch the nearest bus, no matter where it goes. Make sure they don't get on that same bus after you get on that same bus, right? So here I am. If the game turns out to be dangerous, I'll just stop playing it, so I should just go for it. I bet it's trash. I guess for now I should try playing it a little. Cautiously stood in front of the arcade game. The screen automatically lit up. 
As I faced the screen, I put my hand on the joystick. Steady, Nagito. Yeah, Monokuma soft, Monokuma hard. Feel like I should make a meme out of that. Warning, this game is a work of non-fiction. Any resemblance, blah blah blah, is something purely intentional. This game has a strange old-fashioned vibe to it. Wonder, is the person who's controlling Monokuma actually pretty old? Oh well, I should try to start it up. It'll start if I press the options button, right? Now then, let's begin Twilight Syndrome murder case. Right. Let's do that, shall we? Oh yeah, by the way, this is fucking amazing. This is how you can tell it's a seriously high-budget game. Check this shit out. Girl A. Oh, it's already late. I'm gonna be late for our meeting. Everyone's waiting. I gotta hurry and go. Finally, everyone's gonna hate me. Uh, they're waiting in classroom 1A. Thank god we can still press circle to run and Jesus god, this is horrifying. I don't like this at all. This feels weird. It's fucking 1A! Piss off! Go in the fucking door! Oh, now it does. Jesus. Man, you're finally here. You're so late. What were you doing? I I'm sorry if you're angry. I'm sorry. Don't be mad. We're not angry. Just hurry up and get over here. Okay. I should go talk to girl B for now. Which one of you is B again? You all look like fucking monstrosities. Wait, what? It said talk to girl B, so since it was girl fucking fucking A, I just pissed off. What? God damn it. Sorry I skipped all that. This one, here you go. Just read it. At around 6 a.m., a janitor from XX Academy came to work. Oh, that was close. Another X. They would have been a whole different kind of school. And discovered the body of a female high school student in the music room on the second floor. The student had been struck forcefully in the head with a blunt object and was already dead. Seems the killer broke a window to escape. Based on the details of the crime, authorities say the investigation is ongoing and believe someone may have snuck into the school to commit the act. I was a little surprised. I never expected it would make the newspaper. It says someone may have stuck into the school, so they might have been thinking that a pervert did it. It is the only lead they have. I mean, her school swimsuit did get stolen too. That sick twisted bastard. Sneaking into a school to steal a swimsuit, killing a nearby girl, and escaping out the window. Well, what's worse, killing a girl or stealing the swimsuit? Or is it like just compoundingly both bad? We're all in danger too. B but is this really okay? We were the first ones to discover the body, and we kept it a secret. Would have been the same no matter who found the body first, don't worry about it. It's not like we have anything to hide, anyway. That's right, all we did was find a body and not report it. It's not really a crime. B but still. I know you're a masochist, but there's no way I'm going to get involved in this. I'm finally a student at this academy, and there's no way I'm getting expelled over something like this. Right? Isn't that right, Girl D? Yeah, I agree, but... What's up? You don't seem so sure. Um, I actually have something to discuss with you guys. Girl D, I wonder what's going on. Why does she want to talk about? Fucking probably her period? To be honest, I, I ended up taking several photos of her yesterday. Are you talking about her body? I thought we might get questioned by the police, so I thought I should take them just in case. Where are those photos now? I have them, right here. Well, I don't want to look at them! We're definitely gonna get cursed! Yeah, it is Japan. You probably would, honestly. Stupid curses aren't even real. You seriously need to throw away those photos. Give them to me! Uh, hey! Yeah, look at them graphics. Jesus, isn't that impressive? This is bad. If you rip it like that, the curse. I just said curses don't exist. It's better to just rip these photos to shreds and throw them into the incinerator. Or you could just keep them on your person and not get rid of them on school grounds, maybe? Girl D, if you have any digital copies, you need to erase those, too. Okay. Hey, girlie, what happened? Why do you sound so desperate? N never mind uh, uh, let's just forget about the whole incident. Ha 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 We had nothing to do with them. We weren't the first ones to discover the body. Okay, the end.
Haha! <laughs> Friends, right? Yeah, girl power! Seriously, let's just go home already. Come on, it's getting late. And Gossip Girl is on. Do, 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 do. Man, it's already late. The hardest part of being in the archery club is changing clothes. Everyone's probably gone back by now. Then I guess I have to go back on my own. I think this is around the time that incident occurred, too. Oh, jeez. Why am I thinking about something so stupid again? That's right. I just gotta hurry up and forget about that incident. I won't let you forget. Huh? I won't let you forget. Who's there? Where are you? I won't let you forget. I won't let you forget. I won't let you. F forgive me. Forgive me. Never. Never, 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 never. Never forgive you. That's a lot of blood. Ah, oh, girl A. W what happened? Did something happen? Th this is bad. This is really bad. Her head is split open like that one time. It's probably the curse. Or she was also hit in the head with a blunt instrument. Think about it. It's the curse. It's all the curse's fault because the curse girl E. What happened to girl E? Take a look in there. Classroom 1B. This, you know what, honestly, this actually does sound like a legit Japanese horror film. Not to fucking talk shit on Japan, but a lot of your horror movies are really, 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 really awful, and you gotta step your shit up. Alright, Japan? Okay. Could I go in this fucking door, please? Uh, thank you? God, it's so finicky. It's so weird. Ultra higher realistic graphics. Yep. That's what happened. Huh? This is the end? Wait, now it's game over for some reason. I don't get it, even though the game's structure doesn't make sense. It started with the second day all of a sudden and jumped to the fourth day afterward. Why were the first day and third day skipped? And what's with this down five message on the game over screen? Down five? Who's down five by five? What? What the heck is this? I don't get this at all. H how would this be the motive? Is this what it's like to play a crappy game? For now, it's a waste of time to just stay here, so I should go back to my cottage and think about it. Uh, yeah, that's exactly what it's like to play a crappy game. I went back to my cottage feeling hazy and disoriented, and as I tried to think about why I felt so strange, I fell asleep without realizing it. Oh good, I love these. These are great. Hey, um... Life isn't just about moving forward. When confronted by an important question, it's good to stop moving and take your time thinking about it. For example, my stomach hasn't felt well all morning, so I ran to the restroom as soon as I got off the train. But right when I was about to enter, an important question stood before me. Life is like that every now and then. Suddenly an important question gets in your way. The important question that stood before me was the gentleman sign on the restroom door. As I resisted the overwhelming urge to poop, I thought about it desperately. Am I really a gentleman? Do I have class? Am I honest? Am I faithful? No, why am I even hesitating? Of course I'm a gentleman! A regular person wouldn't last five minutes resisting the surge to poop, but a gentleman almost certainly would. Filled with pride, I ran into the restroom meant for gentlemen, and what awaited me was... Another important question. The important question that stood before me was the Western style and Japanese style signs on each door. I was definitely born in Japan, but haven't I forgotten what makes clean, beautiful Japan so good? Do I have enough confidence in myself to take a Japanese-style poop? As you can see, there are always important questions waiting for you. That's what life is all about! Some of those get really goddamn funny. Especially in V3, some of those are fucking hilarious. Especially the one about deceitful and honest people, that one's really good. I don't remember the premise of it, but it was really fucking funny. Maybe I'll make a compilation of my favorite Monokuma theaters and compile them all into one or something Good later. Morning, everyone. Just because they're Looks so like fucking funny. Yeah, I'm starting to think Monokuma has a little bit of a, you know, 
taste of alcoholism, because uh, every time I see him, he's drinking a fucking martini, so. Dick. He's rubbing it in, isn't he? He's like, you have no more whiskey left, you fucking dick. Morning, huh? In the end, that game is still a mystery. I don't know why it would be a motive. I should just bite the bullet and try discussing it with everyone. I guess I should head over to the restaurant. Order ourselves our, yeah, order ourselves some large fries, maybe. Fucked that up, didn't I? Then again, it's me, isn't it? What's up, Ibuki? I'm so happy to see her. Every time she's standing somewhere, I'm always happy to fucking see her. She never gets boring to look at. Oh, Jesus Christ, that's a lot of people to pop up in my face. Good morning, Hajime. Yeah, good morning. After greeting everyone, I put some food on my plate and sat myself at a table near the window. Yo. What is it, Hajime? Is that all you're gonna eat? What? You just eat too much, Akane. You. You're one to talk. All you eat is candy. Why? Just because it's candy doesn't mean you should make fun of it. These gummies have four different fruit flavors, so I'm sure they're full of nutrients. Like... Yeah, and saturated fats and shit. You should just eat real fruit. Like Nagito. Well, seems like a bad time to bring up that game all of a sudden. I mean, we did agree before that we shouldn't even play it. Let me tell you. Is Mahiru this. missing? Huh? After Gundam said that, I looked around the restaurant. And sure enough, there was no sign of Mahiru. <gasps> She's always here every morning. Strange for her to not come. I wonder if she is not feeling well. Maybe. If she just doesn't feel good, that's fine, but there's a small chance that she's... What the? A s small chance she's what? <laughs> hmm? I saw Mahiro. He was outside the hotel. <laughs> uh oh, I see. Jeez. Don't say such a spooky thing. Let's go. As punishment, how about you run around in a circle three times, say woof, and jump off a cliff? <laughs> I, I don't want to die like that. But what was Mahiru doing outside the hotel? Yo. She said she wanted to be alone. I even asked her to come eat with us, but she turned it down. What? Wanted to be alone. Um. Maybe she's planning to play that game. Shut up! What are you saying, pig barf? There's no way Mahiru would play video games. She's not like that slowpoke gamer girl over there. Huh? Were you referring to the... <laughs> I am pig barf, aren't I? Looks like it's going to be impossible to start talking about the game. While I was lost in thought, someone quietly sat down across from me at the table. Yo! Hey, Hajime, got a second? W what is it? Kazuichi leaned forward out of his seat, glanced quickly around the room, and whispered to me. Yeah. Toot that ass up, big fella. Today, 2.30 p.m., come to the supermarket. But don't tell anyone else about it. Huh? I'll tell you the details later. Everyone else can see us right now. It's bad. What does he mean, it's bad? You fiend. Hey, what are you lowly creatures discussing amongst yourselves? Well... N nothing It's got nothing to do with you, so just relax and go away. <laughs> Did you think I was worried about you fiends? <laughs> you make me laugh. Laugh, I say! You've elevated arrogance to an art form! Shiver! What sort of supreme ruler feeds concern for the ants who are destined to be crushed? My name is Gundam Tanaka! I am the forbidden ruler who makes even the god of darkness flee in terror! Fall, my dear. All I desire is silence and indifference. Silence and indifference. I never took him for the lonely type. For now. Anyway, Hajime, that's what's happening, so, uh, I'll see you then. You know, right? Just so you know, make sure you conserve your energy. Huh? Conserve my energy? <laughs> see you later! W what was that about? Instead of talking about games, I received a strange request from Kazuichi. And that day's breakfast came to an end. I fucking love Gundam, he's so much fun. Um, Kazuichi told me to go to the supermarket at 2.30pm, but what did he mean when he told me to conserve my energy? Well, I guess I shouldn't wander too far right now.
Yay, more free time. What the fuck do we do? I have no fucking idea. I kind of want to hang out with somebody we haven't hung out with, but Chiaki's boring as fuck to hang out with. I kind of want to hang out with Ibuki more. Ibuki's fucking fun. Although, you know what? We haven't hung out with Fuyuhiko at all. Let's hang out with Fuyuhiko once. Uh, let me quickly look up and see what shit he likes. Uh, Fuyuhiko... Kuzuryu gets... Oh yeah, with your two U's, Japan. Fuck off. But, like, it's for emphasis. I know. Let's see, what does he like? Mm. Yep. Did I give the wine to my fucking pet? Because if I did, I'm going to be very upset. That was not meant to rhyme, by the way. It just kind of did. No, I didn't. Yeah, fucking poggers, dude. Fuck yeah. Alright, where the fuck is Fuyuhiko at? 5,000 years across the island? Probably. Watch him be right there. That would've been fucking hilarious, wouldn't it? Not really. Where the fuck is Fuyuhiko, goddammit? I don't like this map system either. I like the other one from V3 a lot more. There's Gundam. There's Nekamaru. Sony, Okane, and Chiaki. Where the fuck is Fuyuhiko then? Yeah. Yeah. Is Fuyuhiko just not available to be hung out with or some shit? Uh. Or you know what, fuck it, let's hang out with Gundam again, because I don't know where the fuck Fuyuhiko is. But now I have to pull up the gift guide for Gundam again, because I fucked it up. Because I'm not very bright. Oh yeah, he likes blue ram. We have some more of that. I know we do. Alright, we're fine to hang out with Gundam again. Alright, where the fuck is he? Oh, he's right there. Where is that? Ranch? Alright. He does like animals. That makes perfect sense, I think. Also, I think the ranch is really close by, if I'm not mistaken, so that's really convenient. I just don't remember what direction it's in. Alright, let's go hang out with Gundam again. Fuck it. I think the ranch is, yeah, right next door. Fuck yeah. Cheers, memory. The one time it comes in handy, for fuck's sake. Wish it would come in handy more often when I'm actually, like, seriously screwed on something. What's up, Gundam? It's extremely quiet. Are the spirits of the Earth afraid of something? Uh, yeah. It was close. Nice scarf, by the way. I praise your good judgment. No matter how many there are, they'll never be able to invade my surroundings. <laughs> Though you may be affected by my magic instead. I was forced to listen to Gundam's story about the Earth Spirits who tend to the land. Looks like Gundam and I grew closer today. Gachi bus. I would like to give him some non-Red Bull, because uh, they would get sued if they did that. <laughs> Not a bad choice coming from you. I should be able to make effective use of this. Let me tell you. If you obtain something again, come show it to me. I can see it. Don't get any closer, I already know what you're thinking. What do you know that even I don't know? So you have a now then, summon your familiar. No, I don't have anything like that. You You've come challenging me many times. I thought you finally obtained at least one familiar. <laughs> Just as I thought, you are a mere human and a strange one at that. Despite what he's saying, Gundam doesn't seem all that annoyed. Is he opening up to me a little? How However, you probably don't understand how pointless this place is for a demon beast tamer. Now that you mention it, even though this is a tropical island, I don't really see any wild animals. If this place really was a normal tropical island, I wouldn't have time to talk to you so freely. Many beasts inhabit the thick forests. There may even be rare species that only exist in this land. <laughs> Just thinking about it makes me tingle. Wow, he's smiling right now. Uh, I seem to recall seeing a cow at the ranch. I'm not interested in some domesticated animal. I had a feeling you'd say that. After all, I cannot look at it without feeling pity. Huh? That's a bit unexpected. Such creatures are born to be eaten by humans. Even if I had the all-seeing eye, I couldn't change that fate. Thus, I try not to involve myself with livestock. 
It would bring a calamity onto my mind, after all. Gundam understands the feelings of animals, so this must be a complicated subject for him. This body is uncool. I appear to be getting oddly sentimental since I haven't encountered any new demon beasts. I've tamed various creatures, such as the Cerberus, the Phoenix, and even the Midgard Serpent. Probably means dogs, birds, and lizards. When you say tamed, what exactly does that entail? <laughs> I guess it's fine to tell a mere human. I don't believe that you'll get in my way. Listen well. Basically, you must say good girl, good girl. Huh? You must repeatedly speak to them and make sure they understand that there's no will ill will on our end. In order to do that, you need to appear innocent. This too of course, there are some who like to be out. touched and some that don't. It's better if you keep these basics down. It appears you cannot Afterward, escape. as long as you spend time together, you'll eventually start to hear your partner's words. I'm pretty sure that only happens to ultimate breeders. But Gundam seems different from usual when he talks about animals. Somehow his face seems gentler. Must really love animals. Fine. Now then, I wonder if there are evil demon beasts that will rile me up on this island somewhere. Monokuma and Monami are sort of shaped like animals. I renounce you. They are no good. Anything that can talk will eventually betray you. How and most importantly, they aren't cute. I agree. But I don't plan to betray you at all. <laughs> Such exaggerations coming from a mere human like you. However, that's a nice line. Gundam left the area with a different smile on his face than usual. Hope we'll be able to understand each other, even if it's just a little bit at a time. Sick. Yeah, Gundam's fun. I have a lot of fun voicing him. After seeing Gundam walk away, I left the area. Gundam, walk away. You don't hear me say. Looks like it's almost time to meet up with Kazuichi. He told me to come to the supermarket. What's he thinking all of a sudden? And keeping it a secret from the others, I don't want to think about it, but if he's plotting to... No, there's no way someone as carefree as him would do something like that. Right, let's go meet up with Kazuichi and see what the fuck he's up to, shall we? Oh cool, it brought us straight here, that's really convenient. Huh? It's well past the arranged time and there's no sign of Kazuichi. All of a sudden, the anxiety I had been keeping inside me began to swell up like a balloon until... Ah! What the heck? Don't get all pissed off just because I was a little late? Late? Oh, I get it. I totally forgot he's that kind of guy. A guy who doesn't mind showing up late, even though he's the one who asked me to come. That kind of guy. Well, sort of makes sense. So what do you want? Why'd you call me out here like this? Well, you know, can you do me a little favor? A little favor? I just overheard something. Apparently it's Miss Sonia's idea for a change of pace. Looks like the girls are secretly planning to go splash around at the beach. Doesn't seem so secret now. Wait, don't tell me you. As expected of Miss Sonia, splashing around in the sea is a nice idea. I admire her so much it's shocking, my heart trembles around her so much it's about to burn out. So let's crash it together. Why me? Well, it's weird to fake a coincidence all by yourself, isn't it? So how about a scenario where you and I go to the beach and then we run into the girls by coincidence? Huh? Hey, you better not say no. I can't ask any of the other guys to help me with this. Man. Nick Amaro can't keep his mouth shut to save his life, and Gundam is... Well, Gundam. Fuyuhiko and Nagito are out of the question. I understand where you're coming from, but I don't feel like going to the beach. Hey! I took the time to prepare your swimsuit, you know. And now you're just gonna walk all over my kind act? You're snapping at me? If you say no, I'm gonna bug you about it until you die. There's no way he's joking about that. This is Kazuichi, after all. If I have no choice, then fine. That's my Hajime. That's how a soul brother should act. So, what do I have to do? Well... Based on what I overheard... Looks like they're going to Chandler Beach on the second island. All right. That's why we gotta head over to that diner first. Our plan is to be at the beach before they get there. And we're gonna act like it's just a coincidence. Got it. So I need to go to the diner? Engine's revving. I'm getting all excited now. 
Well, that makes one of us, I suppose. Looks like he can't take a hint. Right. Let's go over to the diner, then. This music is really good. It's very calming. For, uh, you know, murdering your friends. And, uh, condemning your friends as murderers. How the fuck do I- oh. It's back this way, isn't it? Hi, Gundam. You were not there before. Hello. I'm going the wrong way. I have to go this way. Did I remember this time? Did I? Yeah, you did. Look at me. Nice. Kazuichi, don't do that. That's fucking terrifying, right? Diner is this way. What the fuck am I doing? How's my pet? Yep, full of despair. Of course it is. Why is it in despair all the goddamn time, even though I've given it so much shit? Oh, it's ramen I see. I've had ramen before. It didn't really have a taste to it at all. It just felt like fizzy drink. Like, it, it just tasted like fizzy drink. But ramen is really fucking cool. The way the bottle is do designed is, like, gravity makes this marble in the middle of the bottle, like, close the opening to it. If that makes sense. It's, it's really neat. Like, you gotta try it for yourself. It's pretty- it's pretty interesting. Like, it's like, imagine a lava lamp, but in a drink. And, you know, drinking mercury would kill you, so don't do that, so. But yeah, there's like a little marble, or like a little glass bead that, like, plugs the entrance to it. Like, where the opening is, where you drink it from. It's pretty neat. I'm just gonna give it a bunch of shit. I don't know what I have to do, like, I don't know if I have to, like, give it food or something, like, I have no idea. Yeah, I'll give it a coconut, fuck off. What do I need a coconut for? I, I, I don't understand how the fucking pet thing works, I might actually start not giving a fuck about it after a while, just cause it's tedium that I don't give a shit about. What the fuck? Dude, I was just there, man. Oh, sweet. Okay. Uh, what's with the egg? So is that how it works? I just give you a whole bunch of material possessions, and then you just roll out of my life and leave me with another fucking piece of shit to take care of? Yeah, you know what? Actually, that sounds about right. That's probably parenthood, isn't it? Have a kid, bombard them with a whole bunch of material shit they don't need, they grow up, say thank you, fuck off, probably leave you with another kid, and then they go off about their business, and then you're fucked, right? It's probably how it works, isn't it? Sounds about right. God damn it, I wish he'd quit popping up like that, that's horrifying. Where's my straw? There it is. <laughs> Alright, we're here. Now we just have to stake out a spot and wait until the ladies arrive. Is he sure about this plan? I mean, isn't this a little too stalkerish? Well, depends on what your definition of stalkerish is. Also, is there a hidden Monokuma in here? Because I'm likely to believe that there is, and I just didn't notice it before. On the floor? Nope. Under the bar? Nope. Up there? Nope. In the back over there? Nope. Right, no hidden Monokuma, I guess. Do I talk to Kazuichi? And when are they gonna come? Did you happen to overhear that with your sensitive ears too? Hmm. They mentioned something about coming a little after the sun starts to tilt, so maybe around 4 p.m.? It's 3 p.m. right now, so we still have to wait one more hour? <laughs> Always make your move early, that's just the basics, you know. Hey, I don't know if you should be talking like an expert right now. Hey. It's fine, it's fine, just make sure you keep watch by the window. It'd be bad if you didn't catch Miss Sonya on her way to the beach, you know? It's our job to keep that from happening. To get to the beach, they gotta pass in front of the diner. Engine's revving. You better keep your eyes peeled. This isn't a game. Well, this is a game, Kazuichi. If this isn't a game, then what is it? 
I really should have just said no. Sitting at a table by the window, I rested my chin in my hands and absentmindedly stared out the window. Are they coming? Did they arrive? Hasn't even been 10 minutes yet. 20 minutes passed, and then 30 minutes. As time passed by, the only things that grew were the volume of my size and the weight of my regret. See, what kind of swimsuit do you think Miss Sonia will wear, seeing as how she's a foreigner? How about a bikini? Don't you feel like there's a pure, innocent, mythical fantasy hiding between the top and bottom of a bikini? Even if I wanted to agree with you, I don't know how to answer that. Wait, huh? And that's when it happened. In the corner of my eye, a certain someone walked by the front of the diner. Huh? Isn't that... I wonder what happened. I guess I should head over. We left the diner in a hurry and ran into where that person was standing. I can't read, by the way. Not sure if you were aware of this, but I'm terrible at reading. What? Y you bastards! I knew it was you, Fuyihiko. What are you doing here? Shut the hell up! That's my line! Hey, hey! What the heck? You're awfully tense. Actually, why do you seem so flustered? You... Who are you calling flustered? Don't go making false accusations, you bastard! Don't tell me. Ah, oh, man, is that it? You overheard my plan, didn't you? Huh? Plan? Huh? It's no use playing dumb. You overheard my plan and followed us all the way here, right? Hello! Hey, what are you doing at this place? Oh, my mom! That's a strange combo. Uh, hello? Um, today is another wonderful day. Well, you are done for. you're not gonna get away now that I've caught you. I got so nervous, I ended up blurting out something weird. Please don't hate me. I'll take the punishment as much as you'd like. Wow. Um, you two, this is such a coincidence. Um, I never expected to coincidentally run into you guys here. He really does suck at this. Wow. Man, actually, Hachime and I were about to head to the beach together. Oh my. Uh, could that be what you ladies are here for? That's such a coincidence. It even seems like destiny. Something's obviously suspicious. Your eyes are moving around like salmon before they lay eggs. Well... No, no way! I'm always like this. Uh, how should I put it? I always pay attention to my surroundings. I can't keep watching this. As I sighed and looked away from that embarrassing sight, I realized that he had disappeared. Huh? Where did Fuyuhiko go? Well... Regardless, you two have arrived pretty early. It's only 3.30 p.m. You still have about 30 minutes until you meet the others. Um, Why do you know we're going to meet with the others? Why you? you even know our damn meeting time! Hmm. W well, you see... For now. Anyway, let's cherish the coincidence that brought us together, so is it okay if we join in too? Wow, he got force wall all of a sudden. Aww. So that's your ulterior motive. You're probably here for Sonya, aren't ya? I really have no desire to do something so rude like decline the offer at all. But Sonia was the one who planned to go to the beach, so we need to ask her. Of course! Then it's all good. It's too devastating to think Miss Sonia would decline, so I just won't think it. Is he being an optimist or a pessimist? I don't really get it. Hey, hey! Is it alright if we go inside now? Ibuki was gonna eat a good meal first, that's why I came early. <laughs> sure thing, let's wait inside. I can't take my mind off Fuyuhiko. Oh well, I've come this far. Can't turn back now. Diner. I returned to the diner and sat myself at the table near the window once again. Whew. Without thinking, I couldn't help letting out a big sigh. <laughs> Oh, what are you guys going to do about your swimsuits? You weren't allowed to change in that beach house, you know. Um. Yes, that's why we're already wearing them. <laughs> What's underneath this uniform isn't panties, it's a swimsuit. Of course. Well, that's obvious. I also came wearing a swimsuit, too. Huh? Really? Uh. Which reminds me, you're not wearing yours yet, huh? Then you gotta go to the bathroom so you can change. Here you go. This is yours. W what is this thing? may be rude of me to say this, but that looks a little too daring. Are you serious? 
What if something falls out? If this is airing live, you're totally gonna get censored by the network. <laughs> Don't worry, even at its worst, it won't turn into a live action drama. That's not the problem. What is it then? Are you telling me you don't want to match with me? It's matching? Then I definitely don't want to wear it. I believe fighting is bad, so let's stop. Peeking. Things are heating up something fierce. When's everyone gonna come? I hope they come soon. And as she said that, Ibuki peeked out the window. Oh. Huh? What is it? Look outside! Outside! What's outside? Isn't that... Kyoko? Jeez, don't get my hopes up. I thought it was Miss Sonia. Doesn't she seem a little strange? If I had to describe it as a song title, it'd be Sprint of Tears. Huh? It looks like she's running from the beach. Did something happen? Despite her questions, Hyoko ran by the front of the diner at full speed. Huh? She totally ran past us, but wasn't she part of the beach crew? Apparently she can't swim, so she turned us down. Hmm. But she... didn't she just come running from the beach? <laughs> Sorry. I don't really know all the details about that. <laughs> well, it just means women are full of surprises. Mahiru is the type to totally come, but she surprisingly turned us down too. Mahiru, she did? She turned it down? It's so unexpected of her to not join in an event like this. In fact, she'd totally planned this sort of thing. That's totally it! But it can't be helped. Apparently, she wasn't really feeling well. Um... I'm terribly sorry to continue this topic, but why was Hiyoko crying? Why are you asking us? But if she was sprinting away from the beach and crying, something's definitely wrong. Hey! Whoa! When'd you get here so suddenly? Kazuichi suddenly shouted, and what he was looking at was near the diner's entrance. As I turned around. Yeah, fucking Chiaki. Oof, dude. Big oof. I thought if I came early, I'd be the first one to arrive. Wrong. Couldn't keep myself from staring like an idiot. Whoa, Chiaki! You came wearing only your swimsuit. I didn't want to carry it with me. Yeah, fucking Chiaki's did, oof, dude. It'd be a serious burden. Serious burden? Like a fucking few ounce, ounce piece of swimwear like are you serious Even though you didn't want to carry anything it looks like you're carrying something instead of bringing lunch for everyone i brought ice cream um it's not like i'm gonna shut up Mikon. you don't get any ice cream is no baskin robbins lunch. i don't think it can be used as a substitute also i was thinking of stuff we could all do at the beach together so i brought a board game too hmm should we play it, even though we came all this way to go to the beach? Nah. Yeah, you obviously go to a beach to swim, so why the fuck would you want to play a board game? That's completely defeating the purpose. It doesn't make any sense. I see. That's disappointing. Also, I don't like the way that pig is looking at me. It's like, ooh. That's one <gasps> sexy pig, though, I'm not gonna lie. But how should I say this? Is this what Gap Moe is supposed to be? For someone normally so quiet to wear such a daring swimsuit, it makes you a little excited, right, Hajime? Well, um, I, I don't know. That's what I said, but my heartbeat was actually getting faster and faster. <laughs> Seriously, man, I never expected Chiaki to have such huge jugs. What happened? Jugs? Hey, hey, hey! I, I didn't say that just now, it was Hajime! He's a pervert, you know! Yeah, nice, way to throw me under the bus, you pink-haired twat. W what are you saying? I mean, I only have eyes for Miss Sonia. I've dreamed of going out with a blonde lady ever since I was a kid. Mm. What the fucking hell are these two retards talking about? Jesus Christ. Size is a little small, but this was the only swimsuit that fit me. Hey, hey. I don't look good at it? Huh? Well, no, no, I guess you look good. Thanks. Then I'm glad, I guess. <laughs> Ring a bikini is sure daring. And you got bonus points for wearing a white one. My heart's not just thumping, it's thumping all sporadically like ba dump thump thump ba dump. It's probably a heart attack. Yo. Hey, I kept you waiting. We heard a voice as the diner door slowly opened, and the person who walked through it was. Uh, hey, sorry to keep you guys waiting. 
So normally this would be a big oof if Akane actually had any personality at all, but she doesn't, so no Akane! oof. What happened to you? What? Is something wrong? I made sure to wear a swimsuit this time. Not that! Your wounds! It, it wouldn't be strange if we nicknamed you Carrie right now! Uh, oh, you're talking about these. Yeah, well you got fucking pink paint all over your person, so yeah. A little bit weird. Over here. I happen to run into Coach Nekomaru. Yeah, it looks like you broke like fucking 20 highlighters on yourself. And when that happens, I gotta fight him, you know? Well, no, you don't have to do that. Why does she have to do that? Uh, are you really alright? Your head, it looks like it's split in half. Nah, she's alright, she's fine. Well, it'll heal as long as I rub some spit in it, right? You're totally playing up the power of human spit! Yeah, also, that's probably not very medically practical. <laughs> I'm all fired up now. I never knew such a strong opponent even existed. Right, well, she's likely to be seen in the back of an ambulance pretty soon. Anyway, you need to be treated, and you also need your wounds sterilized. Akane, please come with me. With an unusually forceful demeanor, Mikan pulled Akane into the bathroom. <laughs> That's why she's the ultimate nurse. Well, it's gonna be okay if we leave it to her. Hey. What is all this ruckus? Are you ready for a fucking big oof? Get ready for a big oof. Oh, who is it this time? Big fucking oof! Fellas. Big oof! No reason. I sure am. I just did a little swimming. Swimming? I swam around the island for about three hours. Yeah, see, this is fucking bullshit. You wanna know why? Because she's meeting up to go swimming, right? So why would she have any reason to swim prior to going swimming? That's a little bit weird, don't you think? That's too obvious for me not to comment on. That's definitely not a little swimming. Why were you already swimming? You guys are about to swim now, right? Isn't that why you're all meeting up? Yeah. It wasn't for my enjoyment. I was trying to see if I could swim to a different island. Yeah, that's bullshit. Huh? But I couldn't find any other islands. It seems it may be difficult to leave this island by swimming. If you didn't see anything after you swam for three hours, it's more than difficult. It's impossible. Yeah, that may be true. No, I'm just kidding. This is supposed to just incriminate her and get you to think, oh, like, oh, something's going on. Hey. Hey, Hajime. Huh? What? A woman with wet, slick back hair is pretty fine too, huh? Oh my my! And this body too, man. Yeah, show it to me again. Thank you very much, Dongrapa. Your ladies are sure well endowed nowadays. Is that a challenge against all the women in the world? Well, Ibuki's pretty cool herself, so. Fine. Ibuki accepts that challenge with the power of technology. Time to pump these puppies full of silicone. Don't say such asinine things. Nah, Buki's fine the way she is. Anyway, looks like everyone is almost here, and it's already past 4 p.m. If so, all that's left is... I am terribly sorry for my delay. Ah! Miss Sonia's here! He's doubled down on excitement? <gasps> all right, what kind of sexy swimsuit is Miss Sonia wearing? To <laughs> it! I do not want my skin to be sun damaged. Fucking jabated. Get fucked, Kaksuichi. However, as I have never worn a wetsuit before, I had a hard time putting it on, which resulted in my delay. Really? It is my bad. I don't like the way that pig is staring at me. Oh my. I see. A wetsuit. Well, Miss Sonia does have beautiful white skin. Miss Sonia! But that tight outfit of hers is amazing! Just what I'd expect from a 100% purebred princess. This guy, he's quick to recover. Um. Anyway, why are you two here? Uh. I'll answer that, Miss Sonia. I'll be honest, if we're gonna go to the beach, please let us come with you. I am concerned. Well, this was originally supposed to be a girls only outing to strengthen our friendship with each other. Uh. Do you think you can make an exception, pretty please? Well, it's okay. It's not like there'd be any problems, even if there are some boys. Then... 
You are right. They came all the way here. It would be bad if we made them leave. Ah, oh, Missonia's so kind! Alright! Now that it's decided, let's get going! But Ikane's wounds are still being treated. Shut up! Shut up! There's no way I can just stand around. I'll go on ahead and prepare. I'll set up the parasol and prepare the drinks. Engines revving. I mean it. I promise I'll give it all my serve you so everyone has fun. With an abnormal amount of gusto, he bolted out of the diner. Also, Kazuichi cannot read to save his fucking life. Or speak. Uh, um... I'm surrounded by girls in swimsuits. This is a little awkward. Only if you make it awkward. I, I should go help Kazuichi too. As I mumbled my excuse, I ran out of the diner almost as if I were escaping. Danielle Falking? Yes. Fucking sweet. Let us go to Chandler Beach. Chandler Beach. Huh? Th that bell just now. Could it be? A body has been discovered. Oh shit! Now then, after a certain amount of time has passed, the class trial will begin. Oh shit! I totally knew this was gonna happen. By the way, I've just been waiting for it. A, a body? That's a lie. Impossible. Someone, someone, come here! That was definitely Kazuichi's voice just now. It sounds like he's nearby. Yep, but we're gonna see what's going on next time because I'm a fucking prick. Right. So, body reveal on the next stream. Who do you think it's gonna be? Place your bets. No more Sekiro? How's your controller? Did it make it out alive? Yes, it did, Viper. Um, I've beaten Sekiro four times. I've beaten every single boss in the game. Ishin took me an hour to learn and half an hour to beat, but uh, I'm much better at the game now that I understand it. See, like, when I broke my controller on the Shinobi Hunter, why I was fucking pissed off is because I didn't know the combat. I didn't know that you had to equip skills because I had skipped through a dialogue menu that gives you the prompt to do it. So I did not know that you had to equip the skills, I just thought you had to purchase them and you already had them unlocked, you know what I mean? And then, the whole Makiri thing I didn't understand, and what I figured out through playing the game and experimenting with it, is instead of pressing the analog and pressing circle, it's better and more consistent to literally just hit circle. For whatever reason, so like, I'm a lot better at the game now, at least by my standards, I think. Like, basically after I got past Shinobi Hunter, I coasted my way through the majority of the game. Like I said, it took me an hour to learn Ishin. And then it took me half an hour to beat him. Um, Demon of Hatred took me like eight tries, I think. Uh, Al 2 also took me quite a bit of learning. And then it took me about an hour to kill Al 2 because I kept getting hit by his dumb firecracker shit. And I couldn't dodge it consistently. So, uh, yeah. If you want, I'll play Sekiro here in a little bit, like after stream. You're getting it this week, I ordered another controller just in case. Yeah, the controller I was using, I figured out it's not even the controller. It's literally, like, I know I'm gonna sound really fucking shit here, but listen, like, the game is poorly made. You'll understand when you play it. It's really janky, it drops a lot of frames, and it drops a fuck ton of inputs. So, like, the Shinobi Hunter, when he hits you, he literally hits you once, and then you're stunned, and you can't move, and then he hits you more times. And I didn't know where to find prayer beads to up my health. So it's like, that made it much harder than it should have been. So it's not actually that Shinobi Hunter is a hard boss, it's just I didn't understand the mechanics very well. Like, if you give me Bloodborne, I can tear through Bloodborne in about an hour, or an hour and a half. But if you give me a game I've never played before and I don't understand super well because I haven't played it very much, of course I'm gonna be shit at it. But like, yeah, if people saw me play Sekiro now comparatively to what was in that video clip on Reddit, I'm way better at Sekiro now. Even with its dumbass dropped inputs and shit. Have I played Neo? Yes, I beat Neo. Believe it or not, I did beat Neo. But I don't like Neo because it has a whole bunch of oversaturated RPG elements and the dodge framings for timing are really, really tight. And uh, the game just plays way too fast for the combat. I just, I don't like it. It's not a very comfortable playstyle for me. 
And of course, I don't like Neo purely because I don't understand it very well. And it's, it's just not... It's an approach to a Souls game, but it's not like a Souls game when you play it, you know what I mean? But yeah, um, I'll probably start up Sekiro after I get food, so give me like maybe an hour and a half to go eat, and then I'll probably be back and I'll play some Sekiro. And uh, yeah, Danganronpa's done, so uh, I'll see you guys later. Um, in the meantime, before I get back, I'm going to host you off to somebody, but I don't know who. And then I'm gonna go eat food, and then I will be back. Actually, you know what? My buddy Steve is playing Dark Souls 3 Blind DLC, so I'm gonna host you guys off to him, and then I'm gonna go get some food like I mentioned, and I'll be back very, very shortly. Uh, so yeah, give me an hour to eat some food, and I'll be back. And, uh, we'll continue on with some Sekiro if you want to be here for that. So, uh, I'll see you guys later. Thanks for joining. Uh, thank you for the follow as well, Viper. And, uh, I'll see you guys very shortly. Cheers, see you later.